going on, everybody? Live studio audience. No. That's incredible. We have a, no, quite. we do not have a live studio audience. <laughs> Thank you, guys. This is my favorite day of the week. Uh, yeah. We come out here. We've done four weeks in a row. We're going to have probably the next two weeks off. Yeah. Uh, but we are excited to have you guys all here for Access Vegas. I'm going to go ahead and introduce our guest this week. This is uh, She is from Miami. She's a high-ticket sales. Uh, she's a salesperson. She's also a, does social commentary and debates on her channel. This is Miss Amy Dangerfield. You already have fans in the live chat, Amy. You already have fans waiting for you. She is an adult actress from Miami. I, what did you say? A mattress actress? Mattress what actress. Mattress. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. Damn. She's Tiffany Fox. Yeah. Adult, adult, you mean like you don't do kid stories. I don't understand what adult means. I, I don't tell kid stories now. You don't? Okay. That's nice. All right. There we go. And then also she is a bartender, a model, a singer. And uh, I mean, can I mention the fact that you escaped a fucking cult when oh. you were growing up? Okay. This is Miss uh, Rose Fisher. How you doing, Rose? Fantastic. <laughs> She is a fashion model, a real estate enthusiast from Tampa, Florida. She's also a Swimsuit USA world finalist, Miss Maya Allegra. How you doing, Maya? Finalist. Good. There you finalist. go. Finalist. And she is Miss Australia. I just found this out just a couple Ooh. minutes ago. She's a personal oh, trainer, a model, and an expiring actor. This is Miss Gemma Antonius. <laughs> Gemma, you should do Swimsuit USA. Actually, Amy, you should do Swimsuit USA also. Actually, Rose, you should do Swimsuit USA, 100%. Should, right. I just, I just had, got off the phone with the CEO of Swimsuit USA. Uh, she is for, she's a model, an influencer, and she's de designing her own gym line. This is Steffi Louise. How are you doing, Steffi? Hello. What's going on there? She's also, uh, she's also Nick Fuentes' best friend, apparently, from what I understand. <laughs> uh, it's I already say. started. Yeah, yes, he, he is the hip-hop illusionist, and he has one of the coolest podcast studios that also looks like an OnlyFans recording yes. studio. <laughs> That's right, it is Jabrizi. Yeah. It's where I'm doing my, it's where I'm, it's where I'm doing my feet porn right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, man. I'm selling pictures of my crazy feet pic. from, yeah, your, from your let's studio. Inter <laughs> let's interview, then have sex on OnlyFans. Uh. <laughs> Her name is spelled anal backwards, and she's the host of Laughing with Lana. She's a comedian. It is Miss Lana. How's it going? Be, that's <laughs> Dick. Shout out, shout out to Jedediah Bila. We miss her. Where's Jedediah? Anyway, did you have any opening things? Oh, first off, oh, just a little housekeeping. Yeah. Uh, we had a, 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 a gentleman who's going to be a guest. He's going to be a guest on at some future show. Yeah, we were going to have. Uh, uh, Sharp was supposed to show up today, but unfortunately, he couldn't join us today. So he's got some other prior engagements. So uh, we will have Sharp from uh, No Jumper Podcast. He's coming back on the 10th of August. At least that's our tentative date for him. So he will be coming back. So he had to, had to bug out, but uh, we got Jabrizi on tap. So he, was, yeah. he showed up right, right yeah. at the right time. I just told you to come and hang out. <laughs> I, look, I'm here to kick it, man. I, whatever. But, you know, if y'all need me to yell at the girls, I can do that. Uh, yeah, would you like to? This, okay. is, this is a regular Very thing good. I do every day. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's the that's the story with Sharp right now. Uh, and, yes, I'm, st I'm still wondering where my uh, the uh, interview I did with Flacco is uh, now a month later. But uh, I'm sure it'll be around sooner or later. Damn. They All had right. you out for a whole month? No, no. I, I went out. The, I went to No Jumper at the end of June, the beginning of July. And uh, uh, then, of course, uh, Adam22 had his, um, well, let's just say his marketing efforts began oh, right about did. that time. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know when. So people keep asking Wait, me. what are Adam22's marketing efforts? What do you mm. mean by what that? What on earth could those be? Mm. I'm going to say this one more time. Oh one more God. time. Before, before a large African-American man had sex with his wife, do you think Elon Musk knew who he was? Probably not. I guarantee you Elon he Musk knows, knows who now. he is now. <laughs> He's the most trending mm. person on Twitter. So again, I'm gonna ask this guy to I'm gonna ask this to all the guys in the chat. You are married to a woman. In exchange for her having sex with one guy, you get to have three hundred threesomes with other women and get paid five million dollars. <laughs> would you take that trade off? No, they put a one in the chat if you would take the trade off, put a two in the chat if you would if you would not take the trade off, all right? That's that's the way. To, that's a different way to look at it. You understand what I'm saying? Also, how you're, many you're probably the most famous dude on the internet right now, but your middle name is now Cuck. So, like, that's the ah, you're the most famous. Guy. Yeah. Well, you know, I tell you, I've, I've been noticing all these memes lately about like how do you how do you like you get clout, right? Mm -hmm. you, well, you whore your wife out. Apparently, that's how it works. Damn. So, so oh, if it's not if it's not Destiny damn. or Sneeko or freaking Adam Twenty Two, I mean, they all got one thing in common, right? That was lower than a low blow. Well, yeah. Below the belt. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not the one that made the meme. My <laughs> is, I just I just work here, man. I'm genuinely wondering, like, <laughs> why is it, it that moment. so many guys are just coming out as cucks? Like, is, is it just me, or is this like becoming an increasingly more of a trend? Oh, we got into day? that last week. Is as like, where are we going with? Mary? 
marriage. Uh, we could talk about that a little bit today too. Oh man, yeah, we got we got some other it's things concerning. on tap. But yeah, it is it's concerning. Well, it's I, honestly, I think it's sort of like how we how we're uh, redefining marriage at this point, and just like we're we're still yeah. The way to redefine marriage is like introduce a big black guy <laughs> to the fucking marriage. That's like the whole it's marriage. Modern marriage, right. like the right? whole fucking yeah. marriage. Right, the chat, the chat, marriage. the chat is all on two. They all say two, and I'm with you. I would I would uh, say two also. The point is, I I just like one of the things I wanted to see it from both sides, and I can't see it from both sides. I just can't. I just yeah. don't. I, I told you up until the very end, I thought it was a joke. I legitimately thought that that video was going to come out on our OnlyFans, and people were going to subscribe, and he was like, gotcha, bitch. And it was just the two of them sitting on the bed with fucking Jason Love, be like, ain't nobody touching my wife. That's what I thought was going to happen. Gotcha, bitch. That's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> but that is not what happened. So that they went through with it, and uh, you know, specifically went through uh, well, Lana. I, I think what's interesting the is the, the, the stuff that's happening in the aftermath, and I know we have a few people here on the panel who are have been in the business. We had Domo on here last week. And oh, we so were, you making eye contact with me? I how, well, know. I know. Uh, well, okay. Well, we will go around the table and find out who has OnlyFans and who does not. Oh, so, but, yeah. okay. Uh, how many guess? I think it's like about like eighty percent of the girls here. No, 80%? no. Actually, we you want to guess? It's usually about fifty percent or less. Fifty percent or less. Yeah, that's a lot of average girls. for the show. So here's the reason why, Jabrizi. So here, the girls, we have a lot of cocktail servers on here, yeah. and it's just not viable when you're making two hundred and forty thousand a year as a cocktail mm-hmm. server to also do OnlyFans. So a lot of girls here don't do OnlyFans. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I promise you. Now I some of them do. I read some articles where a dentist like even started I just, OnlyFans. Oh, for I just, sure. I read an essay that in Miami, um, that is the like OnlyFans capital of well, certainly the United States, if not the world. They're saying. They were they broke it down like by percentage of like the population in the, like the Miami area right mm-hmm. there, and apparently it's like one in like eight people. <laughs> and only hilarious, wow. Miami. That's hilarious. <laughs> got, wow. uh, 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 you know what? Uh, let me ask uh, Sam Bada if you can find that uh, article for me. I'll, I'll read it on air. But there was it was recently that with the um, what the percentage of OnlyFans. Uh, creators are and like yeah. the highest concentration in the United States is in Miami right now. You know, I want to say something real quick. I always, I always Uh-oh. thought this is crazy. All right, Uh-oh. Miami. Uh huh. It's like predominantly like a, a Hispanic culture, right? Latin culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would say right. So. And then you got the passport bros, and they always want to go to like Colombia or right. Brazil. I know. Why don't they go to Miami? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I be sitting here, bro. I grew up around like straight Lat- Latinas, like and everything, bro. Like. Uh-huh. Every single one of them, because I come from Chicago, right? I was in like the <laughs> suburb part. And what's nuts is that is the most overly sexualized culture, like uh, on the it's about Latin, it's about Latin, Latin American culture. culture. Yeah, yeah, bro, it's like it's there right. like competing with the U.S. Now look to your left. <laughs> what, what, what's there? Oh, she is she. What is yeah, she about? What? What, what would you call you? What would you respect me? But well, I don't know. Know. <laughs> what I'm saying is this: like, I, I know what you I are. What is she? What is she? I, I am Puerto Rican and Mexican. Oh, okay, great. I'm also human. Why y'all put me next to a person who's gonna cut me? But anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is this: right? It's 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 nuts because I'm like doubles up as a knife. <laughs> oh, damn! She <laughs> grabbed her. Somebody. Okay. She grabbed that bogus ass anyway. lipstick. But anyway, what I'm saying is this: okay, it's it's nuts because Miami is literally. The easiest place to get laid. I promise. You think so? Yes. yes. You think so? I, I just, I, uh, uh, again, I, I, do you think it's the easiest place to get laid? I don't. I don't. Okay, do you the easiest place to get laid? I, I really don't go outside that much. Oh, you stay, no you audio. Stay, you stay indoors. Hey, t- guys, no, no audio on Amy. Uh, yeah, I heard that. No microphone. Uh, bring, her, bring her back up. Yeah, I think she's disconnected. <laughs> anyway. think, for me, it's so funny because I always saw Miami as being like the business capital. Like that's where a lot of people who are the in... business for selling pussy. I mean, I, I just thought that there were a lot of entrepreneurs there. There are a lot of people who are in finance, right? Like Brickell is like the financial district. I like that was my perception of it when I moved there. Come to find out that now everyone's perception is it's just we have a lot of people from Florida here. You're there. Oh, I know uh, uh, Tiffany's from there. You're a Florida Floridian. Well, actually, I'm originally from Los Angeles. Well, I know, but you live in Miami. <laughs> I live in Miami. Yeah. 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 I think being here for work. Right? So, wanna... so I would, I would argue that uh, you're saying like the easiest place to get laid. I would argue that Austin, Texas is easier. Nashville, Tennessee is easier. I would argue that Las Vegas is easier, and that Scottsdale is easier. No, Miami is really Scottsdale easy. Scottsdale no. made the list. Go to yeah. Brickell. Go to Brickell. no, no. I'm not saying it's not easy in Brickell. It's Bro. very easy in Brickell. It's easy. But my point is that it's a bit more transactional there than any of the cities that I just named. Like okay. that. Ah, like the yeah, difference yeah. between here and there is that like we have pretty girls that come mm-hmm. visit here with the express intent of cheating on their boyfriend. You yeah. don't do 
that in Brickell. We have 44. What are you talking about? Girls on cheese no, no, with no, their no, own no, boyfriends no, 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 in Miami? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we have 44 million visitors every year. There's more people who visit this city than okay. than than oh, like several than Paris and Dubai combined. It's like a revolving right? door. Yeah. Yes, that's Vegas what I'm saying. And so because of that, it's a little bit different here. I'm not saying it's not easy in Brickell. Mm. Obviously, it is. But we also don't have the like the situation where you're talking to a girl and she's going to go out with you, but she left you because the dude had the yacht. We don't have the yacht thing here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's also an issue. We do have the table thing. That is but kind we, of a but big like, deal. Like, like here's like the momentary whore, though. You know okay. what I mean? Like, Miami's where the whores are. Okay. <laughs> like, that's where they go. That's where they want to live. Like, when they want to go whore out, like, they go to Miami. It's pretty easy to be a whore Dude, in Miami. That's crazy that that's really the full blown perception. Like, I thought is they that come here? I I'm not sure. I would assume that Vegas is well. Vegas, yeah. whores are in Vegas. I, no, I would assume Vegas sure I know. I Bro, them. they advertise them on the trucks here. What? Are and you you're saying you say Miami where the whores are? They drive I them know. on trucks out here. And there's the what happens <laughs> in Vegas. Hot babes to your door. Like, no, you gotta go understand to the difference. They little... pass you out business cards here. I know. So are you like selling pussy or just getting it? Yeah, but see, I'm saying getting but see, it. But prostitution is legal in, in Vegas too. No, it's no, not. not. Or no, it's no, it's no, 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 it's in Nevada, in Nevada, in Nevada, in Nevada. Sorry, oh, I'm yeah. thinking like I'm thinking of yeah. I'm thinking the the uh, moonlight bunny ranch. Stripping is legal. Up where I live in uh -huh. Nevada, it's, it's it's legal, bro. But like uh -huh. when you think about okay, a chick who comes from Brazil or Colombia, like when they get the chance to come to America, they go to Florida, mm -hmm. right? They don't come. To, they don't come to like no, Las Vegas. Like yeah. it's a little inconvenient. You're getting, to be you're there. getting that confused because you said something what? about passport. The the passport, passport buddies, bros. right? Passport bros. Yeah. Those guys guys are looking for women who don't have the traditional idea of what America of the American women the, the mindset of American women uh, I, I would contend that some of them are and most of them just want cheap sex I think most of them yes, are going there to, like because here's here's what happens so you have a, an arbitrage situation where you have a guy who's like middle class in the United States but in Venezuela or Colombia he's like upper mm. upper upper middle class he's like in the top 1% of wage earners he yeah. goes down there and he's having sex with the top 1% of like most physically attractive women in that country he, it, but he and he's paying for it less than he would pay in Las Vegas. To me, that's what passport. I know a lot of passport, passport bros are about to get angry at me, but that's what passport bros are to me. According yeah, to I, according to the study, I, yeah. Miami has the most OnlyFans creators per capita of, of any large city in the in the nation, with one hundred uh, excuse me one thousand one hundred and ten accounts per one hundred thousand residents. I, 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 I bet you. I bet you. LA, Holy shit! I bet you. Los Angeles County has more, but they uh, all, Los Angeles County also has eighteen million people. I yeah, think that's the difference. Yeah, I was gonna say per capita. So. Mm, yeah. Look. Like Michael was saying, though, like, I mean, I have a friend who I don't think he's like, I mean, incredibly hot or anything. He's nice. But he went to Russia, found a wife. She's gorgeous, like mm. super hot girl. But he was in Russia. He was like a baller. He was like top of the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also have to point this out. Las Vegas came in second place yeah. with 670 <laughs> only bounce creators per capita. No, I know. Don't shame my city. Who did, who did know that? Who did know that? Was that true? is not shame to our city. That is proud. That's, that's proud. proud. Entrepreneurs. Yes. Yeah, that's proud that. of us oh, ladies. Man. There we go. I think they migrated from Los Angeles, though, to here because of the condom law passed in Los Angeles. Wait, you said oh, condom law? Right. The, yeah. the, it's the condom law, and also there was a law passed where everyone had to become incorporate it mm -hmm. what's a condom law first of all what's a condom i have never heard <laughs> okay you know, right. you, know, you know what a condom is right <laughs> you know what and you know what a law so is right okay break okay. it down it's a condom <laughs> law meaning you have to put a jimmy hat on before you stick it in her yeah tarp your load wait, no, i'm wait, sorry sorry that's that's you, you, you need hold on time that's, out that's, that's that's you need porn. to provide context he, she's talking about porn. Talking about in, porn. In, in California, <laughs> there were certain instances. They never passed that law, by the way. I don't believe. They, they tried, yes, they, they did. They passed it, but no one follows it. Okay. Yeah. The law was spe specifically was in order. That. Like you, the first, the first amendment was uh, uh, allowed you to create pornography because it was freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. Even though, so if it wasn't, then it would be porno it would be prostitution. Mm -hmm. So instead, they said, well, you can continue to film pornography, but our state law is going to indicate it's going to require you to use a condom every time yes. you have sex on camera. Mm -hmm. And so a bunch of people started moving mm -hmm. to Vegas because Nevada does not have a, a, the same condom law. Yeah. Oh, that's shit. It. That's, that's what crazy. That's yes. I did not know that oh, was Oh, my thing. God. And then yeah. also... Most I, did, I, I like just thought it didn't get passed. Anyway. Well, also, I don't even know why they would do that. They also, do that too, every migrate. performer had to get incorporated in California and not... Like, they had to go by an LLC or a C Corp or an S Corp. Mm. Nevada doesn't actually have that law for performers to do that. So that's another reason why a lot of performers migrated to Nevada and Florida. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, that's why things got so. Fun. And Nevada has no state tax. California is like sixteen or seventeen percent. Okay, or I think it's thirteen percent. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Insane. Florida doesn't either. 
Yeah. Florida has no state tax, so that's why we're going to Florida and Nevada. All right, guys, you guys ready to film porn in, in Nevada? Fuck yes. no. Definitely no. Not no. Okay. No. Definitely. Good. Number one right. places to be in the U.S. Florida. More work for me. I'll take it. <laughs> More work for me. Awesome. What do you think about all this stuff? Um, well, we just recently visited Miami. It was my first time in Miami, and I would have to agree it's a lot of uh, older men on yachts and mm. sugar babies, and mm -hmm. I think that's <laughs> was kind of my impression of Miami. Yeah, unless you're a sugar baby. Hey, they come from Australia. <laughs> yeah, you know what's nuts? What? Like, every black dude knows this. Like Australian <laughs> girls love black dudes, bro. Uh -huh. Like they love black dudes. Yeah. bro. I swear to God, like when I first got out to Vegas, like for the first time, I can't say how many Australian girls I smashed, bro. Like that <laughs> shit was nuts. Like it made me want to go to Australia. I haven't been there yet. Is this true? Can you confirm this? Well, here's the thing. It's stop. I said yes or no. <laughs> Don't do the yes. <laughs> Yes, no, can you confirm this? Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay, yes. great. You can confirm this? Yes. You can confirm this? Yes. Thank, yes. You. Thank you. <laughs> I personally all the black already. guys watching, I just helped y'all go to Australia. I've personally never been with a black guy. However, Wow, what, that sucks. However, oh, so so my years. roommate, I had two American roommates in Australia, actually. Uh -huh. uh, one of them was uh, from East Lansing, Michigan. His name was Jamal. Black guy. That's and when I first, the blackest guy in the when, I, when I first heard him on the phone, yeah. because it was before I met him in person, I'm like, your voice is so cool. It's literally like the movies. We don't have anyone who sound like you out there. Say movies again. Movies? Movies. Maybe. My Maybe. accent's a little weird because I've been here for like five years. So yeah. it's kind of like a blend of both accents. Uh -huh. I think you sound still very uh -huh. Australian. Thank you. Yeah. The Australians disagree and they actually get mad for how my accent's kind of morphed no. in some more yeah. of Wait, hold on. Wait, question, question. Did Adam22's wife inspire you to give it a black guy? What? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. You're, you're working, right? working it. You're I'm, working I'm, I'm, on it. Jabrizi has them all written down. He's knocking them down. He's knocking them down. You're not get that, missing like, out on much, Mami. You're going to your phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one guy in the chat says, Amy Dangerfield literally saved my family from Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, cute. I don't know what, what that means, but that's pretty funny. All right, interesting. All right, so uh, did you have any topics you wanted to go over? Uh, well, I mean, we can go over some of the other ones we didn't get to on the last show. I wanted to uh, just go back to the uh, Margot Robbie thing. Okay. Because now the Barbie movie is out. So. Yeah. Oh, it's out. So, so, so a reset for those of you who don't know, Margot Robbie was picked specifically because she's older. And now, I mean, Margot Robbie, we think of her in Wolf of Wall Street that was 10 years ago mm -hmm. and so she doesn't look quite the same she's still very pretty mm -hmm. but she doesn't look the same anymore and they specifically picked her because she's not as attractive as she used to be oh. and that didn't alienate they picked her specifically because if she was that attractive that that would alienate a certain group of uh, female audience members if she's too hot do you guys remember Bella from what's that wolf the, the fucking wolf. vampire shit what was the Twilight Twilight oh. okay, do you remember Bella from Twilight do you remember how incredibly plain she was yeah. like she was the most neutral looking plain what looking that? That was yeah. 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 Was do you guys yeah. Yeah. Okay, do you remember do you guys remember uh, the True Blood? Do you remember the Snooky Stackhouse? Remember her, yeah. Anna Paquin? To just plain, like, I mean, straight up five. Like, you know, and they weren't trying to do anything. <laughs> so sad. But, but why are they doing that? Because they don't want to, because they have a mostly female audience. And so you'll notice, you'll know, you guys ever watch soap operas, the women are kind of average, plain looking, and the dudes are just outrageously good looking. And the reason why is because you have a female audience. That's generally Yeah, they're trying to relate to the normal girl. You said Margot Robbie? Yeah. She's pretty, but is she's. It, is this her right here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you need oh. you need a 2023 Margot Robbie. You're not yeah. saying she's not attractive. She's yeah. still very pretty. I, say, she's, I don't she's think that's beautiful. why they, they picked her. Well, that's what they said. That's why they said they said they, that's why they said they picked her. Well, so. if you look at Who's what the movie's they? about, like it's about she's like everything in Barbie world, right? They take what little girls did when they played Barbies, like she'd, you know, you never use the elevator. You just put her in her yeah. car and she'd fly down the roof in the um in the trailer for the movie. And what the movie's about is she's no longer experiencing these. Barbie things like waking up perfect and stuff and it's because I think I don't know the movie comes out tomorrow but maybe because she's been in Barbie world so long and also Barbie's a grown woman yeah. she's she a solid was nice. <laughs> she's a solid we seven we had Skipper I'm looking at solid right seven. wait you're talking about Barbie oh, at her peak was a solid she's seven like a, ten. I'm looking at her like just on this thing I think right she's here a ten. 2003 if you look at what she she's looks like in like the seven. movie solid no one, seven. absolutely no one is no. this is not a solid seven bruh like let's be honest like this is like some chick you meet like in the midwest she looks like Barbie after her you know what's funny is that's what people are calling Margot Robbie right now they're saying she's a mid 
No. Do you know what a mid is? Oh, like she's average. Like I just, I just, oh, okay, so here's okay, the thing. Here's the thing. Look at this girl and tell me she's not gorgeous. She okay. has Please, like could y'all stop showing good. me face app shit? That's, just that's, like, that's, 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 that's what she looks like. That's what she actually, that's what she looks like. Show me some face app shit. If you watch her in Wolf of Wall Street, she looks like that. Like 10 years ago, she did. Anyway, the point is, when we say mid, like we don't literally mean mid, and I know it's fun to just like dunk on girls all day, but like the thing is, go to Walmart, That then you'll see mid. Mid weighs 185 pounds and she's five foot three. That's what mid is. Oh, in America? In America, yeah. yes. Yeah, America. My point is like, like the problem is like when we have women who are like, again, are they perfect tens? No, but like when mm -hmm. you see the incredible weight problem we have in this country, and then to call women like that, Margot Robbie's not mid. That's ridiculous. Okay, I she's don't know. no. Okay, right, right. There we go, man. Yeah, you're right, bro. Sure, you're right. She is. Well, well, do you, just well, like look, you guys are aware that gorgeous. the original she's casting so selection for that was actually going to be Amy Schumer. Oh god. Oh, so they were oh, gonna wow. go either. She would have been, been funnier. She was the funnier. original choice and then she actually backed out because the movie was not feminist enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck her. Wow. yeah. Well, thank Josh. God for that. <laughs> she would have been hilarious. I would have loved that. Glad we're on the it would, same page. It been I love Margot for that. I think she's yeah. fine. Yeah. I think so. so fine. Yeah. I mean compared to Amy Schumer, I mean damn. So so let's I mean if isn't it I hate I hate that this is even a like a freaking topic, but the reason it's a topic is because the idea is that the movie the or the movie producers are picking her on account of the fact that she's 33 years old and she's not 23 years old. So if you look at her in Wolf of Wall Street when she was on there with Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. she's about 20, 23, I believe, is when she was doing that that role. Mm -hmm. um, at that age, I'll, I'll be like, oh hell yeah, right. or uh, uh, Harley Quinn when she was in uh, Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, when you look at her in those roles, yeah. But it, the the thing is, is that there is a tendency in Hollywood for women to have like a sort of a shelf life. So if you look at men's acting, men's careers, it is a slow kind of an incline, and then it kind of tapers mm -hmm. off when they hit like. 60 or 70, 70 yeah, yeah, like, or yeah, yeah, older, like right? Sean Connery older. or some shit like that. When okay. they start George getting dementia, Clooney. <laughs> George Clooney can <laughs> yeah. still, yeah, he's still like, there's no, there's very, I'll put this, there are very few women that are the same age as George Clooney that have the same sex appeal sure. yeah. as George Clooney. Yeah. Like a, it's yeah. like an old, ugly woman to make you mad on camera. That's why. Well, like, that's, really and that's, no, well, so, to be fair, that's, mm -hmm. when, that's when they turn into comedians. True. Yeah. Yeah. Betty White. Yeah. Actually, they Betty look funny. White. That's why. They Betty look funny. White. Jeez, man. Every, every, every comedian looks funny. Look 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 that's why they stay I'm a comedian. Or it's going back. So there's this idea There's this idea that that the that there's some sort of endemic sexism in Hollywood. And therefore, if we cast Margot Robbie at 33 in the role of Barbie of all, I mean, what is Barbie? She's the quintessential like California girl with big yeah. giant titties. The perfect and, woman. Yeah, and she's, yeah, in fact, right up until recent times, Mm. Like that was an insult amongst like feminists. Oh, she's just a Barbie. She's just fake. Yeah. She's just plastic kind of thing. That's that That's was facts, the, yeah. That and was then an they insult. made the plus size Barbies and yeah. Well, yeah. Then they started catering to. Yeah. to I've never seen a plus size Barbie. I've never seen a plus size Barbie. Barbie. Yes, there yeah. are plus yeah. size Barbies. Oh, wow. They're they made disabled Barbies. Barbies. I'm looking for plus size Barbie. Plus size Barbie. I'll guarantee you don't want to see plus size Barbie. So has any guy ever played with a fat action figure? Like that's kind of weird. Unless it's a villain. Unless it's like a villain, like the blob or something like that. You know, who knows? Well, Yo, is, plus size you're... Barbie, you're for real, bro. That's yeah. just crazy. Yeah. But it's the thing there. is, when you're a kid, you're not thinking, I wish my Barbie was fat. Like, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. Really, it's yeah. A you just look doll. at a doll. Like, no, yeah. When I was a kid, too, like in my you head, Barbie like was that. 30. She was a full girl. Yeah, she was a grown-ass yeah. woman. She has a family. Like, she was not a young 20-something. No. In my mind, she was like a she's adult. A mom. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, she has all these careers. Barbie, You're not an astronaut. Don't make Barbie fat. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, like. <laughs> but but you have people Damn. like Lizzo saying "big is beautiful" mm. and pro mm. pro you know promoting like eating big backs and like you know chicken sandwiches and being like 400 pounds. Okay, but unhealthy isn't good for yeah. any it, way you. It is not. It's not good. I'm not saying it is good. Your but I'm quality saying, of life's gonna be. But shit. listen, I'm saying mm. people like Lizzo are promoting that, so that's why they're bringing like fat Barbies in. Yeah. Oh, and, and Victoria's Secret took a hit for keeping is it skinny just girls. Me, like, to the guys, is it just me and ladies chime in? Have you ever heard a man like explain his like him being like being fat is okay? This is only with women. No, so it, 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 no, it's a great point. Are you kidding? Dad bod. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dad, 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 dad bod. Dad bod. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Men, do, that thought. men do not call other men dad bod. Okay, that is a woman <laughs> yeah. thing. Number but one. Men call other men but fat, and then fat sure. they get insecure, and then they come no, to no, us no. over here like stop, I, stop. I don't that is, look like listen, you. I'm gonna go to the gym. It's wrong. But that's the difference. We'll just go to the gym. 
just a woman. Here's the thing. If you if I go to a man and I say publicly, hey, bro, you put on some weight, you need to lose some weight. If I say this in public, like in front of my whole, let's say I, I work as a, in a corporate office and I'm like, hey, John, you've been putting on some weight, you want to take some weight off. No one's going to chastise me for saying that. No, HR is not going to come after me. Mm-hmm. And you know what the thing is? John is probably going to be like, yeah, you know what? I should go to the fucking gym. And he's going to he's going to go do that. He can take that criticism. Uh, if if you do the same thing to a woman, it's not going to go well. You well, will you she's will get fired. Sensitive. You will get fired. People are very sensitive. But additionally to that, like for men, we just take accountability for our actions. If a woman does something, like for instance, if we I heard this, other, we had a girl uh, when I did Adam Line show. Mm-hmm. There was a girl, and she was sitting there talking about egalitarian everything. Mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. is equal, men and women or whatever. And she and we asked her like, oh, what God. kind of guy she wants to date? She goes, yeah, he needs to be six foot three. And I was like, <laughs> can she be shorter than six? <laughs> can be shorter than six foot three? She's like, well, uh-huh. you know, all the other stuff is fine, but he has to be tall. He has to be six foot three. And I was oh, like, man. I was like, oh, why? I should be able to shame you for that. If you're going to shame me for being f- like, if you can yeah. shame a man for being fat, yeah. uh, for being short, mm. then I, th- honestly, your preference is is shameable as well. Is it yeah. not? And Bro, also, I really be mad at like women sometimes, and I'll be like listening to them talk about their whole list of shit. Same. Y'all are crazy. Y'all <laughs> no, are no, crazy. No, no, no. And I'm gonna say that. Yeah, I'm gonna say that with psycho. all you're crazy. Crazy. No, you're crazy. 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 Listen, they will give you a laundry list. The bitch will be like five one, requesting for you to be six <laughs> three, and she's five one and a little chubby, and then I'm like. Like, bitch, I'll, I could work with you a little bit. Well, you could be a little chubby, like, maybe. Well, yeah. Someone like you <laughs> doesn't want a girl him. who's Wait, fat. Give me a second. And like, what I'll say is this, right? They'll be like, be 6'3", be super fit, mm-hmm. exercise every day, don't smoke, don't drink. We have not and, done and the... Like, uh, we have, you're a drug addict. Like, we have not done the, uh, the calculator. Yeah, we haven't done the calculator in a while. Have you ever done the... The, the delusional the calculator. Raise your hand if you guys have ever done I'm the delusional that calculator. Because oh, my I roster know she is has. fucking hideous. I can't uh-huh. even sit there and say my roster is so hideous. Your I, roster, are men? Yes. Damn. I like ugly guys. <laughs> why are you? Why are you? Oh, wow. oh no. See, I that's like not, ugly guys because well, they tend hold to be funny. And check this out. I was I am a woman. I do her the same way she do my ass. I'll be looking at her whole exes. I'm like. Let me see what this bitch ex looks like. Uh, ugly nigga, ugly wait, nigga, ugly nigga. Okay, but she... she no, you're not about the fuck. I can't be fair, she's saying they black. Because so. Guys oh, that damn. are really incredibly hot are kind of douchey. Like, yeah, they, they kind of do, don't boring. give you the time but of day listen, because they the know. So, cause They're the a guys little bit... Who look good she was just speaking! Like you. She was motherfucking <laughs> no, speaking! Okay, but I'm what? saying, maybe <laughs> they quiet for three, three seconds. Good-looking men act just they like hot quiet. women. Good-looking yeah. men act just like uh, hot women. Let's do the calculator. Let's do the calculator. Let's do the calculator. One at a time. Hold on, time out, time out, real quick. Time out, time out. Are you done with your statement? Okay, Rose, what did you want to say? Yeah, I was just saying, like... For me, I I'm attracted to personality. Yeah. Literally, that that's how I am, and it doesn't to me physical um, a, appearance stop or whatever. <laughs> Please stop. I don't know what that cat, where that sound came okay, from. I have no idea where that sound I came from. I don't want to be around someone who makes me feel uh, like ag- shit. Ag- agree. But whenever I hear women say I like. Uh, personality. I'm a sapiosexual. I'm into vibe or good energy. The good energy always happens to be from a dude okay. who has six pack abs, who's at least five eleven, and Mine fucking tattoo sleeves. Right. No. Of course, that's, it's just, and has a no. real, a really toxic behavior to go along with no. his vibe. That's what I've seen mm, over and over five. again. No, I have a theory. Of course, I, have a theory. I like go six ahead. pack abs. Of course, six feet tall is my. I don't even like. But if I had the choice between the hot guy who's a douchebag and the nice, yeah, but the, and, the problem is the you don't makes... like you. You have you have that choice, Rose. Like uh, Rosie, you, yeah. you you do. Like there's a bunch of guys that are you can yeah. choose from. And then and there this, is, but so, I, so here's a, here's there's okay. a reason so I me, haven't. Wait, let me throw out my theory. Here. Let, let me, me give you a theory. Let's, okay. let's, get theoretical. Let's, get, theory. let's get theoretical What's here. The okay, here's here's the deal: is that there's okay. what you're talking about is two different things. There is what arouses a woman and what is attractive to a woman. So whenever you ask a woman, what are you looking for in a guy? They'll go, oh, he's got to be funny. He's got to love his mom. He's got to want kids. He's got to like rainbows. He's got to like puppy dogs. He's like to go to Disneyland. He's got to do all this. He's got to have a good job. He's got to be intelligent. He's got to have a good education. Blah blah. Come from so there's this laundry list of things that's for the attraction side now if you ask a woman what do you find hot in a guy like what gets mm-hmm. your blood going and gets you you know tingles <laughs> down there that's a whole different uh, that's a whole different question so but if yeah. you say because if you ask a woman you say what are you looking for in a guy they're going to default to what they find attractive not necessarily what they find arousing so unless that woman is like really like Damn, I need I need something right now. I guess now. the Bro, question but, is, I got a so, so it's what? like if you ask a like for instance, if I were to ask the, the ladies on the panel, what is it about a guy like physically? What is it that turns you on about that guy? That's a different question than what are you looking for in a guy? Because women will always mm-hmm. default to, well, what's going to be yeah. best for me in the long term? Well, it depends on the girl too. Like mm-hmm. if you're if you're just want to live wanting to live up the single life, and like if you're looking at that guy as recreational use only. I don't care if he's a douche. I mean, I'm going to fuck the hot guy. But if I'm looking for a life partner who I'm going to, like, 
have kids with and mm. he's we're gonna be living together Adam I will take nice over no <laughs> <laughs> okay no he he needs to fight for me he needs to like mm. keep other guys off All right, me so so it's a, but, it's a go ahead but I'm just saying if if it's a toss up like I don't know I, I'm gonna fall in love with someone and if if they're not perfect physically it mm. it don't bother right. me mm. alright so it's it's, okay. it's, it's an, I'm gonna go for who I fall in love a, with there's an interesting there's an interesting study I think it's referred to in uh, the evolution of desire where they talk about long term and short term partner selection for men and women for women their long term partner selection was a certain level of education like intelligence agreeableness etc cetera, etc cetera. and for short term partners they actually wanted them to be more good looking like so for short term meaning they would they would go have a one night stand but if they're gonna have one night stand it's gonna be yeah. with like some male stripper for men their long term partner Partners, they also wanted a high level of agreeableness. It actually ended yeah. up being very similar. Mm -hmm. Their short-term partners, they did not give a fuck. They yeah. didn't care how smart she was. They didn't care how agreeable right. she was. They didn't yeah. give a shit. Like he, what Dr. Buss says, embarrassingly low levels of standards mm -hmm. yeah. for short-term <laughs> partners for men. And then he also goes over the beer goggle effect, which is at the end, at the 2 a.m. <laughs> no effect. one's ugly after 2 a.m. The 2 a.m. effect. Oh. Which as, 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 the the options, as the options got, like, I've been saying this to my clients for years. If you go to an after party, something went wrong. Now, now and think about what I'm saying, because I I've been to a lot of fun after parties. Oh, okay. But if you went to an after party, that means you didn't meet a girl. No one wanted At to go party. home with you. And now you're going to a party where there's three dudes for every girl and they're competing <laughs> by giving her Coke and Molly for one of them to try to fuck her. And that's what's Damn. left for you. The after party means you something went wrong. That's the point. Yeah. The point is you if you meet a girl and she's hot, she should you know probably come home with you early. Or if you have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. why are you staying out till seven o'clock in the morning doing drugs? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But that's the point. Like after party is the fail. That means something it's went the horrible drugs. wrong. Mm -hmm. huh? Look, look, I got a theory. I got a theory. Let's pay attention to what these girls said. Let's get right? theoretical. Again. All right. So all y'all said. Well, you I'll didn't say, ask all y'all. Okay, whatever. So look, what I'm <laughs> saying is this, right? Someone in here said. I think it was you. I like personality. Okay, call me out. Yeah, I like <laughs> personality. Because the hot guys are assholes. No, See, no, this... not all of them. Oh, I don't my God. Think... Yeah, let me them. finish. Let me finish. Okay. I, I, let, let me get to the point. You guys like to say things like this? Because, look, I've been a hot guy my entire life. And you guys um, like to say things. That is based on opinion only, puppy. That okay. is based on opinion no. only. Whatever, whatever. Facts. Whatever. Based on opinion only. She likes me, whatever. It's cool. She's Just let him talk to her. Don't. 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 Look, what I'm saying is this. Hurry they up. always try these look. You know, women are Hurry like up. women are like Jedi's without the lightsaber training. Here we go. All they have is the fucking force. So land all they gotta do land is like, the use little mental Land the plane. They can't literally <laughs> beat you in a fight, so they gotta always use the mental game okay. or some shit. But what I'm saying is this. Like they say, oh, the hot guys are assholes. But what I'm saying is this. Like, this is a mental tactic. You just seen it right here. They tried to, like, say, stop being... They low-key tried to passively tell me to stop being an asshole. But it's like, see, they don't like okay, hot guys. So, because so, hot guys remind them of themselves. Do you like assholes? That's an interesting no. Do you like topic. jerks? No. So, so Jabrizi, here, here's the thing. I think where the, the, I put them in the, place. the dissonance is, is mm -hmm. I think it's more of, like, uh, the, what, what women find... That makes it, you say arousal and attraction. Mm -hmm. I say mm -hmm. comfort and attraction. I stole that from mystery. I used to work for mystery a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Attraction and comfort. So, what when women find attractive, if you just said attractive, what I mean are the things you would have if it's a one night stand, you're in Cancun, and no one's going to find out about it, and you have the perfect guy to go home with. Yeah. Those are attraction yes. qualities, okay? Mm -hmm. Attraction meaning physiological attraction oh, wow. Short -term and, then sexual. and then comfort <laughs> qualities. So, again, when women say, I appreciate the dad bod, it's it's Vitz Vaughn's dad bod, it, it's Elon Musk's dad bod, mm -hmm. it's a uh, uh, what's his Named Leonardo DiCaprio's dad bod. These are high status men who have additional prolactin. You know what prolactin comes from? It's when a man is mated with a woman who's pregnant, he starts putting on weight. That's essentially mm -hmm. what happens. Women if evolutionarily are seeing this man put on this weight and be like, this man is not going to leave me. He's not more physically attractive, but I feel more comfort. When you ask women what they're attracted to, they state what makes them comfortable, and that's the mm -hmm. confusion. They will say things like agreeableness and all this kind of stuff, and then you're like, but why do you keep fucking Kyler the bartender? <laughs> Those Bingo. are the things you like. You Bingo. keep saying you want these things and you keep fucking this guy because from a woman, you, what you're saying is when, when I say, what are you attracted to? You're thinking of a long-term partner. But as men, we're only paying attention to who put their penis inside of you. So when you say one thing and do another, we're only looking. When you keep saying you like Alex the accountant and all the things that are great about Alex the accountant, but you keep fucking Brock the bartender, we're only looking at what Brock the bartender is doing. And to be fair, 
our observation, you're making the world 1% worse, according for, for your own standards, mm-hmm. because the guy who was good to you, you made him wait, and the guy who was toxic, you fucked him, and he, the guy who was toxic, you rewarded his behavior, the guy who was a gentleman, you punished his behavior, and then you end up in this world where you're asking, where are the good men? This mm-hmm. is the reason why. But what happened was with the manosphere is that the guys who were doing the fucking started communicating with the guys who weren't, and they started <laughs> taking notes. They started, yeah. wait a second, Aggregating wait a second, hold a second. <laughs> all the stuff that Disney yeah. told me no, 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 but Brock fucked that girl that I actually like. Wait, all the stuff that Disney told me, turns out that shit wasn't true. That wasn't true. And all the things that she that, that I was told, it turns out those are things that made her feel comfortable. Again, I, I wish men would be more vulnerable. No, a man you're attracted to can be vulnerable. A man you just met being vulnerable looks like a homeless person to you. Mm-hmm. Again, for a man, like, uh, what's his face? Machine Gun Kelly wearing a pink dress. If you're a normal dude wearing a pink dress, you're a fucking weirdo in a pink dress. But if you're a superstar like Jeff, like, you're Machine Gun, you know, you're Kelly, machine gun Kelly, Kelly, you have so much attraction. All right, but so many women do find him attractive that he can get away with wearing a pink dress and it actually builds comfort. And that's what's so fucking insane about this whole thing. So we're confusing men by telling them, hey, just be yourself. Well, if you're not attracted to him and he just bees himself, you're just going to eliminate him quicker. And that's why women say that shit. Lana, 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 Lana. How old are you? 33. 33? Mm-hmm. How old? That's great. Can I get ages? Like, how old are you? 23. 23? 36. 36, 33, right? 33. 28 next month. 28 now. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 31. There you go. At a girl. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> At a girl. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, uh, 30 in September. 30, and I know you are 21. Yeah. 21. Correct. So mm. at 33, 33, correct? Mm. And you're 23. And you're 36. 36. Okay. So the, the, the two 30 year olds here. Mm. Would you say that your criteria for men at 33 is different now than it was when you were 23? Absolutely um. not. No, I don't. You think that you, so you still find the same guy like attractive and the same guy is like say hot and you know sexual and arousing the same thing you had yes. never deviated whatsoever from the kind I, of guy you're looking for. No, I think when I was younger I probably didn't go so much for looks but now I'm older and I do care about guys that take care of themselves. So mm-hmm. I actually do go for pretty guys a lot and mm-hmm. I I like it. I think it shows strength in yourself to care about what you look like mm-hmm. or you know care about your physical strength and I find it sexy in personality and physically, so I go for pretty men. Mm-hmm. Whereas pretty when men. I was younger, I would probably mm. go for like just whoever you know personality was fun and crazy, Can and I ask not you, so much pretty. Are, men. are you less interested in a long term partner now, or like, or is that part of the reason um, why maybe you're? I've always you're... been a relationships kind of okay. girl. I always like have long term boyfriends, yes, and mm-hmm. I don't care to like have lots of boyfriends. Like I'll date someone for a good two three years like most of my relationships am i looking for you make them wait for two three years before you have sex with them no okay i was just checking <laughs> like just... lord no. no i was gonna say that was a little cruel if you did that obviously i've lived a life am i look would i be heartbroken if i didn't find a life partner not necessarily but it, i still choose men based on someone i think will be around for a long time yes. got it I have, a, I have a question i've always wondered this i'm going to see how mm. honest you guys are have you guys ever made it uh, made it a guy that you eventually had sex with wait for sex for like say a couple weeks or a month yeah, yeah. Put, raise your hand if you've done yeah. that okay ready keep What's... your hand keep your hands up okay have you during that month-long period had sex with someone else. Your dick no. a month long period. <laughs> <laughs> look how my hands went down. Only. Uh, that's a fucking I was lie. I the question for a second. But look, no. look, my mama told me. She said, Jabri, always I was remember. Say about that. If she ain't fucking you, she fucking, fucking somebody else. That's not that's true. true. No, my no, mama put me on game. What's, uh, let me, let me ask, let me ask you. Uh, let's go around here. Uh, what is the longest you've ever made a guy wait for sex? For the people who raised their hands. And he actually waited. (laughs) She's going to go six months, and there's like three dudes right now. Like, I had six months with Gemma. Yeah. (laughs) She talked about about me on the show. (laughs) Fuck yeah. She talked about me. What's the longest longest you made him wait? Not, I've honestly not that long. If I really like someone, Mm -hmm. I don't want to play games. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not into that. Like, I'd, I'd rather like get to know them and. Probably like a couple of weeks, really not that long. A couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. That is a long for, for a girl in Miami, just FYI. Okay. Yeah. Just like, 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 you know. How long? How long? How long? Can, can, we, can I make a prediction for all the girls you guys are going to ask? I'm, I'm going to yeah. predict that yeah. all of you are going to explain yourself before you actually just give the answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. No, that's okay. Like, that's all right. They, they, well, because and I'll tell you why that is. Because when, when we're, women are talking about sex, they have to find some sort of like rationalization as to why I did what I did. Yeah, and so that's get like, don't judge me because, because it's... You, you, they, I don't know. Go ahead. If I like the guy, I definitely like Gemma. I wouldn't wait. But mm. um, if 
I have made someone wait, I think the longest would be like maybe three weeks, and that's because I wasn't sure. So, mm-hmm. and it was terrible. So, <laughs> so, we weren't sure. She so, yeah. sure. so there's sure. you, confirmation of you, Iron Rule of Tomasi number three, right there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there. Which is why girls uh, should not wait. Look, you waited for bad dick. That shit sucks. Yeah, <laughs> you feel stupid, don't you? Yeah, I know you feel stupid after that. Change. You like, hold on, Gemma, 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 Gemma. Gemma. I don't think it changes the situation though. Like if you make him wait or not, if he only if he's only Just looking to find at out you he has a micro penis. for one yeah. reason and mm-hmm. only wants to fuck you, it doesn't matter if you make him wait three months. As he's, soon as he does that, he's, he's gonna leave gonna anyway. Go. I feel like right. it, how you, does he make you feel? Like if he, because I mean I want to feel protected but respected, and so. Mm-hmm. If I just feel like he's being nice just for that, then I, I, I'm like anyone else. I, I, I guess I'm a long-term relationship person. Like I'm mm, looking for a yeah. freaking husband. I ain't mm. giving that shit up to anyone because, I mean, the way the way I feel mm. is that every time I give it up, then it's like I I just I'm not saying this applies to all women, but I feel a little used. I feel yeah. like I gave mm. up something sure, of, of course. value to yeah. me, and I yeah. didn't get something mm. of equal value in return. So for me, I'm not trying to make guys wait. I, I, if I'm not interested in you, I'm not even going to mm. gonna go out uh, on a first I, I date. I want to get back to mm. it real quick. With you two, uh, was it you met him one time and then went on a date, or you met him one time and had sex with him the first time you met him? As in mm. the person that you made with? Yeah, they're just in, in, on average. You're, you're, you're making him out. Like you, it, you meet, and then the first date, <clears throat> no. you have sex with him? What are you saying? No, you always have to like at least have a date and like let them take you out to dinner. Okay. If they can't even take you out to dinner and pay for the bill, then like why would you let them? <laughs> okay, so at I least one so one date. One date is what I'm asking. Yeah. And, and for you, Steph. I don't date because I'm super fussy and I'm a lot like yourself. Like I won't go out with you unless I really see something carrying on. Mm. So we have to connect yeah. on some you just, level. You just to assault say you just yes go for it. As soon as the first date you're just like Lana, Lana, I, Lana, I, how how long have you made a guy romantic, wait? How long have you made 100%. a guy wait? <laughs> I, I'm I, I personally. How long do I gotta wait? Come on, come on. <laughs> no, give me, give me a talk. Give me a night. No, to be fair, you really like don't because I'm the type. Of, I'm a very sexual being, so I want to know if your dick's gonna be good right off the bat. Because I want to know if you're gonna continue. <laughs> so I'm like, if you have sucky dick, I ain't. I'm I not think this might be the first and, thing me and, and her agree on. And to be fair, <laughs> and to be fair, I just feel like like when it comes when it comes to when it comes to dudes and like all that bullshit, the respect level, guys are gonna respect you no matter what. And and. And to be fair, because in my experiences, I have been with dudes that I slept with the first night who proposed to me. I didn't get to you. Yeah. You're, 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 wow. Hold on, hold on. Jabrizi, not the same night. Not the same night. And what you're saying, what you're saying, oh, okay, okay. What you're saying is yeah. the respect level will be the like, same if you slept with on the <laughs> first night or the third night. That's fair, what you're saying. Yeah, like if you make a guy wait 90 days, he's going to have the same respect for you if you fucked him on the first date. Because if yeah. you really, if he's really into you and into your personality, you guys got that vibe like everybody says that they're going to want to make fun of. But if you have that vibe, they're going to respect you either way. Could yeah. you imagine? And that's my experience. Could yeah. you imagine I being agree. a guy and you like literally sat there and waited 90 days? Yeah. Oh, dude, we have, we've had, I've <laughs> talked to guys on, well, actually, it wasn't on this show, but I've, I've talked to guys on other shows who said mm-hmm. that they would be seriously waiting like a, a matter of years, like three years. What the fuck? Really? That's, yeah. okay, that's, like, that's no. crazy. But like, Why? could you imagine that's... waiting 90 days? All right, so, so, Amy, Amy, so, how long, so, Amy, how long does it that, take? How long does it take, Amy? Oh, uh, the longest was the nearly two was months. Loose. Huh? What's that? <laughs> nearly two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. The so you waited around. Right, I have a couple cool, cool questions, Amy. How many interactions is that over two months? Uh, a lot. So this was my ex-husband. Okay. Uh, we met in Australia. He basically moved into my apartment like two weeks later, but we didn't have sex. Like it was very heated. It was a lot of sexual tension. Okay. But and, we you, and you stopped him or he stopped? Both, both of us. Both of us. Yeah. So the, the, I, I kind of figured there was something else going on yeah. here. Why would he stop? I'm curious. He moved into your place. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel you, like the, he... you later found out that's why he's your ex-husband because he was gay. <sighs> that is some, <laughs> that is some I mean, serious gay. blue pill gay, game. Okay. There, there was some interesting things. There's foot, a reason we're not married. For foot sure. only fans. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, I can't, gonna, I'm not gonna. Bo- both sides of the plate. It's okay, the same got it. Story right. with women. I'm like, if, just like he said, his mom put him on game. If 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 she's not fucking you, he she's fucking somebody else. Okay. It's the same with you. So again. Let's, my mom let, told me it's a bunch of hoes out here, man. Like, most of these hoes, <laughs> hey, right? listen, I love these hoes. They're for everybody. <laughs> they ain't loyal to anybody. Here's the thing, right? But I love these hoes. You gotta yeah. find the hoe you're willing to deal with at least 
for a bit. Okay, so, so I look at them like a set hourglass. So, so yeah, I, like I, hourglass. I would recommend I would recommend this for, for guys. For those of you out here, like, is she making me wait? And like, when you hear this, this would be very discouraging. If I had heard this and I was a guy, I was like, these girl, a lot of these girls are not making guys wait. Or uh, another thing is, you waited too much. I'll bet you before too much, you knew you were going to have sex with them, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably in the first week, you knew you were going to have sex. No, no? I, would, I wouldn't say. For me, it takes me a while because I'm like a person who. Uh, uh, Aside from a couple of rare instances, I've only had sex in relationships. Yeah. So for me, that is something when I start dating someone, I'm really vetting. The other couple of instances, you, wait, like, you it's said, like Chris you, Brown you, and behind it, or Drake. Was it Drake? Uh, it was Drake. Drake. Definitely Drake. It no, was Drake. No, no, okay. Why are you All right. lying? <laughs> All right. So, so uh, going back to the whole thing, do you, that would be discouraging for men. So what I recommend for men to do is I, if a woman was making me wait, I wouldn't notice because I would be seeing multiple women. In order for me to stop seeing multiple women, See? a woman has to respect me and show me like, like, hey, I am here for you and I want this to be long term and I have to want the same thing. So we're going to engage in a relationship. Uh, for me, I'm polygynous. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not uh, monogamous. So mm -hmm. uh, we were going to engage in a polygynous relationship. In order for me to do that though, meaning like you're my primary when we're sleeping with other women together, mm -hmm. that in order for that to happen, you need, we need to be having sex. There's no, uh, you're not my girlfriend if we're not having sex. You're not my girlfriend if we're not living in the same place. And that's, that's the rule I would say by. If a girl wants to make me wait, that's totally fine. I don't notice because I'm seeing multiple women. Right. Does that make spinning sense? Plates. And then so you don't, spinning plates. So that's mm -hmm. what, that's essentially what happens. Does mean you have to sleep with all of them? Let's say you have a religious conviction to not sleep with all of them. But I'll, I promise you that this, what happens is, and women don't realize this, as you make a guy wait longer and longer and he's already insecure, he, by you time you get to, because he's going to read all the shit about she needs to wake you, make you wait three dates. After once you get to date five or six, they start acting fucking weird. Has this ever happened to you ladies? They start yeah. because they start acting really weird because you've made them wait five or six dates and now they start doing things that are very desperate. They start doing, they start like looking at your phone. And then you're like, well, it's a good thing I didn't. It's a good thing I didn't have sex with. Yeah. Right, correct. <laughs> correct. So I, again, I recommend, I recommend if she's going to make you wait, don't react because they're always like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Don't work. Don't do anything. You need to be seeing multiple women if they're going to make you wait. Got it? Right. Cool. Sounds wow. good. Go ahead. Wait, I want to press Amy on one oh, thing. Oh, 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 you have something to say. Maya, what do you think? Maya had something. Oh, so um, the last relationship that I was in, actually, when we started seriously talking, I was, you know, I was single for a while. I moved what's to Florida. A while? What's, what's a while? Let's also point out that you're 21 years old now. So whenever this happened, you were a lot younger, right? Yeah. Right, so, so I was single for an eighteen-year-old girl making a guy wait is a little different. A, a year, yeah. may, like maybe a little over a year, and uh, then I sure. moved to Florida and I met my. Uh, we don't have to ask that question because women say a while. That could be like two weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> when, I, when I'm not when I'm not in a relationship, I don't I don't do anything. So uh, I met him when we started seriously talking. It was Lent, and I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna give up sex for Lent because I haven't wait, done it." Wait, wait, what's Lent? What Lent, it's um, when you're a Catholic, and it's like put the thing on a your religious head, Ash Friday. And oh, you give okay. up a thing. You give up something Ash Wednesday. Wednesday. And then on Easter. Ash Wednesday. Sorry, Ash Wednesday. I'm, I'm, Easter, I'm, I'm Protestant. We separated in the 1500s. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. my bad. We I'm took Italian. over America. Take I'm a look Italian around. Catholic. Thank I got you. you. Yeah. Yes. So check I, out. Check the presidential score. We have <laughs> we have 44. You have two. Good. Good job. I Praise was like, Jesus. I'll just give up sex for Lent because I haven't had, been having sex anyways. And so when we started talking, that was kind of what I was doing. So I, you know, told him that and that was fine. And we waited two months and we, you know, were in love before we did anything. Okay, beautiful. That's, that's incredibly beautiful. Put a one in the chat if you believe all that. Put a one in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> believe every, every single word she hey, says. Some of us are a little old fashioned. No, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Rose, oh, Rose I, I've way. been waiting this yeah. whole time to ask you this. How long have you made a dude wait? Go, Rose. I, I'm i the wrong person to ask this because, listen, I have not had dating Just experience. Just say two hours. Okay? Just say two hours. Rose, do you want to explain why you have a dating? Do you feel comfortable okay. explaining why yeah. you don't have dating experience? So I grew up super, super conservative, uh, very uh, sheltered. Okay, why? <laughs> if you don't want to talk about it, we don't have no, to. No, 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 I okay. will, I will. Okay. Because I grew up in like a polygamist cult. It was like a break off from the main Mormon church. And so we lived like Mormons in the 1800s. And boys and girls didn't date. Marriages were all arranged. And so... But they, literally, you don't date. What, what was the name of the Netflix series that they did about? It's called Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. Are it you, came out part last year. I was. I grew up. She in was that. a child. She was yeah. a child. She I escaped left. a cult. She escaped a polygamous wow. cult. That's my why. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. But the men yes. have multiple right. wives. So my family, we had three moms, oh, all lived shit. in the same house, and we had twenty-five kids. Fuck but, out of here. But boys and girls wow. don't date. Like it, it's called proper separation. They don't. You, we were told like don't make eye contact with the boys. And everyone's sent on like different That's projects. Wild. It's like a little community, 
and there's different different things like we don't have recreational stuff like we didn't have trampolines or like bikes so there was like the soap shop the sewing shop the, the trampolines go garden. against god isn't that right yeah. Yeah. And, and trampolines and they, go against like god we had projects so we were sent on different projects and the boys and girls Bouncing were separated leads to, uh-huh. by like after grade <laughs> trampolines, grade. trampolines trampolines prove well, gravity imagine uh-huh. which goes against flat earth on a trampoline oh, yeah. i'd get like, horny what? too yeah. but like wow. i i didn't know the world was like a a culture shock. Like I didn't even know what a hot body was. I didn't know what was considered hot for girls. I had no clue. Like fashion, makeup, jewelry, all that stuff was. I had no idea. And now you're super hot. So. Tiffany, Tiffany, go, go for so it. So it was kind of interesting because I was about to say something about the spinning plate theory. So I was trying to listen huh? to your book before I came here, and that's in chapter three. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Damn. She wow. Knows. She knows you, more about my book than uh, Fresh Prince CEO. Uh, <laughs> do you, oh, I'm curious. Do you ever get into re- a relationships with guys you film with? You know what? Actually, no. I, I've never done that. It's, it's weird because I, I smash my coworkers, right? But I don't date them. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's interesting because it's like, you know, I, I'm guilty of fucking on the first date because it's like, you know what the thing is? If you don't fuck on the first date, you know, you're not going to find out, hey, are they, are they decent in bed? Because me personally, mm-hmm. if a guy can't satisfy me in bed, I'm not going to stay. It sounds shallow, but I'm honest. No, I mean, why considering your line of work, I don't considered, think it's that shallow. Well, why is you know, it considered you know, shallow? I don't think it's shallow at all. You know what the thing is? The thing the thing is, it's like, if you're not going to give it to them, they're going to go to someone else. Yeah. That's, that's how a man thinks. Men, men and women are not the same. We are not equal. Yeah. Because it's like, men are going to have more options. You know, when we get older as women, our value decreases. And it's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But when, when a man gets older... His value increases because he's going to have more money in the bank. He's going to have more options with women. So the younger, they're going to go after the younger women that are in their early 20s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, my, my, my range of men is very slim because I do pornography. That's okay. The woman's main thing, it, getting a man is easy. I mean, I don't have one-night stands. I have auditions. <laughs> so it's not my fault they don't get a call back. <laughs> and there is the TikTok. <laughs> I started laughing. She made it sound like men think Mark about that. Like, when we get rejected for pussy, we treat it like um, a restaurant you, you just, or I mean, segregation you time. Don't, you don't, you like, don't. If I can't eat at this restaurant, I'm going to go to another one. Men don't <laughs> know. We'll go so see, pussy is like a buffet. Like, like, like I, most of my friends are men, so it's like I have an understanding of it. Yeah. And it's like... You know, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit of a red pill woman, so it's like, I, I get it. It's weird saying that being a porn star, but it's just like, you know, I do believe in traditional gender roles. Like, I would like a relationship. Yeah, you're probably not a trad kind of woman, but you are a red pill woman. I think you should be I, I aware mean, of a red pill, a, even no, though you it's don't. No, just, it's just being supportive of what I, red pill guys I, think. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm supportive of it process. because, you know, at the same thing, it's like, I couldn't be in a relationship with a man if he doesn't share with me. I like girls, too. I'm I I'm supportive of like I see the red pill side too. I see that, but mm. I feel like it's like traditional values in a non-traditional world. Men kind kind of. Of. Yeah, it's not always traditional. traditional. Mm-hmm. Like I they want traditional ideas, but they're not traditional themselves. Amy, yeah. Amy, on the two instances that you uh, just mentioned that you were good with a one night stand, what what was different about those guys than the dude you made wait? Oh. Uh. Um, was there can was there Cancun involved? Molly involved? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. Um, so one of them was just a situationship, and I still made him wait, but it was a little. It was the last time. It was only a couple weeks. And who does he play for? <laughs> oh damn! Uh, what podcast does he? Have? Yeah, does he host? No, no, dude, no, no, the no, girls no, chasing like podcast that. host is a real thing now, dude. Um, anyway, we'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. How do you feel about guys with blue hair? <laughs> oh, Destiny. Mm. Yeah, but like, you know, it's oh, nuts, bad. Like, I hate that the oh, liberals. No, I, ruin, I think I think a lot of people want to hear. This. I hate that the liberals ruin colored hair. Like that used to be cool what? back in the day. Oh, yeah. Can I 80s? not bring back like streaks? <laughs> yeah, I think you need to dye your hair red. Before I cut it, I'm gonna definitely. Liberals ruined cool colored hair, and I hate them. For you know, that. I'm okay. not gonna lie. If I saw a guy with blue hair or like any kind of green right. hair, you'd swap with his wife. No, no, <laughs> I'd run. I will run. Sorry, I will run out that door. By the way, I really That's like nice Stephen. Stephen, I'm, I'm I'm doing a debate with him. All right, so real quick, uh, mm-hmm. the the two guys that you yeah. ended up hooking up with. One of them was a situation ship. Yeah. What was the other one? The other one uh, was after a very emotional incident. Okay. It was, uh, Rebound. Was it a date uh, with the guy? Yeah, kind of like a date. The, okay. Yeah, when I was going through a really rough time. Was it a guy you I, had had sex with before, no, then got no, in with another guy, and then came back to him? No, 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 nothing like that. It was uh, a guy who, you know, was in my life. I knew of him, was, you know, 
respectable guy for sure. He was like there for you in a hard time. Not, not even necessarily or, that. He Just paid someone, the bill, right? No, not even that. It's literally <laughs> none of that. He didn't pay the bill for dinner. It wasn't any what? of that. It was, um, I, I went through a really hard time in my personal life and I just Use needed an dick. escape a little in bit. In case of so emergency, I was like, I break glass. I'm going to go hang out, I'm going to have fun, <laughs> and one thing led to another, but can I say, like, I really had a lot of regrets about that. Because the yoga retreat and the ayahuasca? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I think it's because, going back to what you said, I feel like you really do, like, give up a part of yourself yeah. when you do have sex yeah, with somebody. It's I, not, it, it doesn't, I feel like it's impossible that it has zero effect on you. Maybe for some people, I I think that's the exception to the rule, so, though. Again, that's not yeah. the rule. What, what's the, is it, is it an uh, Institute for Family Studies? Which is the one that we keep referring to? The, there's a study that shows that it has <sighs> effect for men and women, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but far, yeah, far yeah. more for the women. The hair bonding study, right? Yeah. Ten bodies, isn't it, yeah, for well, women? Well, so, yeah, so, but here's the funny thing. For men, after 11, it actually, like, it's marriage satisfaction under the age of 40 or somebody, they've been married for 10 years, mm -hmm. marriage satisfaction, and then the number of previous sexual partners. For men, it drops off from virginity down to like, you know, they're still in the mid 60%. Mm -hmm. And for women, it, once they get past six, it just plummets. Like women are like, oh, when women have had like 40, 50 partners, because what happens is mentally, the, when things go bad, they're just like, I'm just going to go somewhere else. But when men, like when they fantasize about other women, it has nothing to do with our relationship. I know mm -hmm. that's so hard for you ladies to understand, but like we can literally no, it, have the nastiest, too. grimiest like fantasies about other women, and it literally has nothing to do with our relationship. Mm -hmm. So the math would have to bear that out. And what we find is that when women cheat in a relationship 83% of the time, they fall in love with their affair partner. Mm -hmm. And when men cheat in a relationship, it's 29% of the time they mm -hmm. fall in love with their affair partner. And I'll bet you in a vacuum, it's actually lower than that. I'll bet you that in some of those cases, the men are like pushed out in a vacuum, like men just cheating and not being un unhappy in the relationship. I'll bet it's zero. I like mm -hmm. really, really, we can absolutely, no matter, and put a one in the chat if you guys agree with me, I never mm -hmm. have to have this discussion with men because mm -hmm. 100 percent of men agree with me on this yeah. one and that is the concept of a can a man be madly in love with his wife mm -hmm. have kids be in love with her and with her permission have sex with another woman come back and have absolutely no effect on his relationship once whatsoever and yes. every man knows that that is yes i was the side chick well i i, I know agree, i yeah. saved I a lot of marriages i saved a lot of marriages <laughs> but see this I is why i did your like... bitch is a fucking favor <laughs> <laughs> this is why i feel like like i like other Merch. girls like i Bringing another girl in, I don't feel threatened because, I mean, not only does she, most of the time. Is that your, kind of, is that your arrangement? Kind of like, feel the same. Do you choose polygyny? Is that a common thing for you? I like other girls. Okay, time out. So for, for those I, of you who don't know, hold on. I want to make sure, hold on. I, I, need, I, need to make, I need to make sure we understand this, guys. Po polyamory is uh, men and women, are it's open on both ends. Mm -hmm. Polygyny means the two, no, this is not cheating. Polygyny means the couple dates other women together. This doesn't mean it's open on his end. It means the couple dates yes, women together. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. That's what polygyny means. That, a dude who's a player is not polygynous. That mm -hmm. just means. I am not yeah, okay with my yeah. guy having relations with women behind my back Correct. or like without, you know, I'm not okay with my man acting single. If he's going to be single, go be single and yeah. give me the same freedom. Are you just but like, on Luddy's house? If there's a girl that we're both into, I'm down because she's Did kind it. of emotional about sex the way I am and he can literally bang her and not remember her name the next day. Do you think that yeah. your the your upbringing is an influence on that at all? I, I don't you're know. You're Mormon, right? Maybe well, like you grew up Mormon. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying because yeah, of a polygynous lifestyle. Yeah. So maybe it's a little more normal for me. It's not as like weird. But, I, I personally think bisexuality is. An, I think bisexuality is an evolutionary adaptation. Yeah, of women. but I, it is not an adaptation. But I actually of love women too. They're very beautiful. They smell nice. They're fun to kiss. I think we all agree. <laughs> they're that soft. Them. Like I, I just I like girls. So like if it's someone what we're both into, why not? Like mm -hmm. wh why not? Why would we both suppress ourselves because it seems. Like proper? I don't know. It's no, 2023. A lot, of people, a lot of people let society influence their own relationships. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people are like, we can't do that because what are the neighbors going to think? What is my mom going to mm. think? What is the cousin going to think? Your neighbors are Get watching you do it on OnlyFans. Yeah. That's what they're doing. They don't give two shits about what it is. Yeah, Trust me. They're, they're your best paying customers right now is what they are. That's low-key funny. You point that yeah. out. Like, chicks be so worried about their man and what he doing. But it's like, bitch, you are on OnlyFans. Okay. Uh -huh. Selling pussy. Like, stop. <laughs> Chill. 
Let me just fuck this bitch hold one on. time. Rose, before I, hold, I'm Rose, just saying but, that. Rose, before you hold it, because I, mean, I got, cause I, I dug up the study, and this is an honest to good, honest to God study here. Okay, this is Rolf Dengen. Uh, the only factor that predicted a positive emotional outcome from casual sex was being a man. <laughs> That's it. The study was designed to ascertain what motivates people to have casual sex, what emotional outcomes follow casual sex, and whether there are gender differences amongst these variables. People who engage in sex to regulate negative emotions are likely to experience negative emotional outcomes. Uh, Women reported like significantly more negative emo uh, emotional outcomes than men, including loneliness, unhappiness, mm -hmm. rejection, regret, general negative feelings, and a perception of negative judgment from others. What are the neighbors going to think? Uh, wow. con conversely, men reported greater sexual satisfaction, <laughs> happiness, self-confidence, contentment, and mood improvement. No go. predictors, apart from being a man, were found uh, for a positive <laughs> emotional outcome. Rolo, you just pointed out that they don't want us to be yeah. confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm building confidence. Understand, my dick going into another woman helps me build confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm literally becoming a better version of myself when I come back. I guess maybe in the same way that like a girl posting a sexy picture and getting the validation makes like builds her ego or confidence. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so when all you sons of bitches clip that last little bit and go, these guys don't know what they're talking about. There's no scientific studies here. Gotcha, motherfucker. No, so you, what you're saying is you're saying so like for instance, a man may be a some men may be addi addicted to <laughs> sexual, uh, you know, variety, right? So men look at porn or whatever. Uh, women are going to have the same addiction, probably the same. I'm going to guess the same part of their brain With is addicted to attention. Or, That's correct. Yeah. It's an addiction to attention, which is why being told they're sexy, correct. they're feeling great and, about themselves. But it's their also why it's also about why women will have orbiters. They're very comfortable with men who are clearly trying to have sex with them, and they put them in the friend zone. Several of them at the same time. They have no problem with that whatsoever mm -hmm. because why women like attention. Women enjoy mm -hmm. attention. It was one of the weirdest things I'd ever seen is when I used to work at a strip club, I used to manage a strip club, and we'd have these girls, they'd come in there, and it was very clear, like, they hated their job, and they were very upset, and they were, like, beat down, and they'd get on stage, and I saw them go into this trance, because men were giving them mon them money yep. for their physical attractiveness, and I don't care what they say, they not all of them, a lot of them just enjoy, like, there was a high that they got from receiving money for being on stage and stripping. No. And so that's huh? not true because I was a stripper too and I had to put on that persona because I am making money and it is a job. You're an actor at that point. I agree with you. I'm saying, I didn't say all of them, but there were some of them that were so addicted to it they just couldn't leave. Like they yeah. just kept, they kept wanting to do it. Now here's another thing that I found out because I was talking to Nar, Nar Fart about this. Mm -hmm. There's this, there was this, all this, also this belief that I had that in every case the women were like, I have to tolerate these men yes. and that this is gross. And so for you that was a reality. Yeah. I know a ton of girls that was not the case. They yeah, actually, I was going to say, they, they I did not, it was not the case. They didn't hate it at all. Like it was one of these it's, situations their art, they're proud of. But, but it's not It's not only that. It was like they were mentally stimulated because they were receiving money. Yeah, now, here's the yeah. thing. As a man, obviously, it's not the same thing for me. When I get on a sales call and we close the sales call, mm. bro, I am mentally stimulated. Like, yeah. that is one of these things where it's like, I have accomplished a goal. And so it's funny because I was talking to my friend of mine, uh, Nicolette Shea. I was Nicolette. Who was it? It was one of my friends who she's... Nicolette Shea? Uh, she, no, Nicolette Shea. <laughs> uh, but no, she. Uh, it wasn't her. But what, one, one girl I was talking to, and she was explaining to me, she gets physiologically attracted to men who have money. How and old I is she? Understand Understand How old is she? Who? I'm wondering if this a is like child. a like a, a oh, she's over thirty. She was well, over she's 30. over thirty. She so <laughs> here's the so no here's the thing is like because I heard you I've heard you say this before yeah. like okay like women get a physiological not all not, not all, all but yeah. physiological okay so the not all part I'm wondering if it's once they get past say 29, could be, 30, could be. 31 years old suddenly money is much more of a turn on no. than just, when I, they were twenty. I agree that I agree that you I aren't so. in that situation, but I've seen women like again they they literally they receive gifts from a man who is physically unattractive. And their vaginas get wet because of the money, and it's crazy. Go ahead. Right. No. 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 I, I, I'm actually no. agreeing with them because, yeah. like, like money to me is much different being 30. Yeah. Mm. Like, I guess people send me stuff off my wish list. Like, I'll open up my front door and there's like eight packages from Amazon. It's I'm nice like, being okay. looking at the guy too. Like, if the guy, yeah. if yeah. This, that's like also nasty you don't have man. to deal like, with him in here's person. Here's your purse. You wouldn't be like, oh my god, sweetie, you're not I'm animals. so turned on. <laughs> I'm talking about porn though. I'm talking about porn. Though. No, but what, what I'm saying is, Maya, there are women who are like that. Maybe they're two standard deviations out of the norm, but yeah. I've, I've seen it so many I, times. The, and, the, and those deviations know, are like me. decades of age, yeah. twenty versus it's like thirty. Like Anna Nicole's yeah. Yeah. because, of, they're, they're because they're the necessities. Homeless people. That's what they are. They're just attractive homeless people. Like at some point in their life, they realize I will be homeless if I don't act a certain way now. Mm -hmm. So now they're just out on the street, no sign. 
And from no that, sign. Sign. No, no sign. sign. No sign. No sign. No sign. You don't got to have a sign. I want to ask, ask Maya. No, hold on. Because Maya's, Maya's, Maya's have the, any of you guys she's had the youngest on the, the, the best, The best sex of your life with like a broke dude? Has that ever happened to you? Yes. That's happened to you? It's happened to you also? Fuck yeah. Yeah? He's not broke anymore, but. She's still 21. Why is she shaking oh, you have head? You have also? What? I've dated guys with no money. <laughs> yeah, sure. but it was like the best sex of your life because they were broke. It was Amanda. Amanda Nicole came. Amanda Nicole came on my show one time and she was like, don't get dickmatized because when they're broke and felon, it's like they're the best sex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. sex with somebody wow. who's a broke fellow well, because they're good looking and that's the only thing no, I mean he's I fucking fun I don't is broke, I just but don't like he's not broke it. no more but huh? But we like build building together, so yeah. Yeah, I fun. couldn't leave. It was good. <laughs> Just kidding. I couldn't leave. I'm like, I gotta build him up. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Well, we had a we had a we had Jen. Uh, Jen was on. I forget. Her. Yeah, that's why I brought she it up. Because she Jen. said, yeah, because she she was like saying the best sex she ever had was with a homeless guy, guy that was like sleeping on the beach. In. Moved yes. in. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. But yeah, like I've never gotten that very low. ambitious, no. and he's like building. Like he has to have some ambition and like be going places or. I'm not gonna see him as long. Yeah, term. my broke guy still had a job and was still able to pay his rent and pay his car. But what, it was just he must have been terrible in that. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. He was fucking great. It was, but it, like broke in a sense where I'm like, we couldn't go on dates per se. Like no. I would have to pay, <laughs> but his rent was paid and his girls were taken care of. He had kids, but so it was like shit like that. I'm like, no. I have a question now. So it's like, okay, so having sex with broke dudes. So I have a question for the fellas. Hmm? Is that the same? Like the fat chicks give the best head. Fuck yeah. They try harder. No. Is fat skinny lesbians give the, the best, best head. head. Well, For my hurt. statistical data, the skinnier the, the chick is, data. the better the head. T- <laughs> Tiffany, I'll give me honest head? with you. For me, know. for me, this you is good. This is just this is just me and I and I I'm curious if other guys feel the same way. For me, the sexual satisfaction has almost entirely to do with how physically attractive physical she is. Physical appearance, right? I know physical uh, appearance. Hold on, hold on. There's no like technique as long as she doesn't bite it. Is like <laughs> the fucking no um, gag reflex. I don't even care about that. Like the mm-hmm. literally, like the You're physical, the, the sexual, the sexual <laughs> satisfaction for me has almost entirely to do with how physically attractive she right, is. But I don't know if I'm the only guy who feels this I, way. I have a honest. question though about what you just said about biting yeah. it. So I actually just posted something to my Twitter last night about would you rather have a very hot chick give you a blowjob but nips it. <laughs> Or would you rather have Jeez, a grandma? It's gra- only nine thirty. We already oh. get into this. Or, All right, would, let's or, go. Would, or would you have a grandma <laughs> with no teeth that give you the best head with the gummies? Grandma. I mean, you know the answer. It's the first one. It doesn't matter. It's like every person. Well, I was sure the piranha and bit that shit, man. I, I don't know. Is there a third choice? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I just not have grandmas to do are with hot anyone? too, bro. Yeah. Grandmas hey, are fucking. Hey, George, can you can you can you share my screen with right no quick? Tea? Can we just forego Hell the blowjob? Yeah. Okay, see so this. Is, see, I fucked the grandma with no teeth. I present to Maya. I present to you, Jeremy. Jeremy Meek. The hot felon. He's so pretty. He got famous from this. Is this is he's a felon? The hot felon. Did it come out that he was gay? What the fuck is up with his eyes? No, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 but I, his lips, like, I think what his lips I find are. attractive, what I like, like in a guy, no, but I think that he, if you break it down, like, is attractive. Like, uh-huh. he looks like he could model. Okay, you know? yeah. he was like, he, he was lusted after yeah. when this whole He's story going. went down. He went down. viral because he was, He's because, and, he, and he was, yeah. he was turned like into a male <laughs> runway model wait, wait, after that yeah. too. I, I want to throw something out here. I feel like every time we we ask right, an opinion George. about like guys like that, right? Right. I think the ladies they sometimes give like a conflated answer, but they don't live in the real world. You guys go to Miami. Las Vegas, you don't LA. live in the real world. I live in the but real world. But when you go world. to like middle America, you don't live in a the guy real like world. that is winning like crazy in the middle no, of America. I, I believe it. Like, I go yeah, home. He's winning. I'm not living Trust in a big me. city like that. Yeah, uh, like this is not the real world. Like I, every, uh, every girl here has like a princess complex. Like so, because you're like being treated like princesses. <laughs> Everybody, like, hey, what? Sorry, yeah. hold on. Like, look, look, attractive women get like stuff for free, dude. If I got stuff yeah. for free, I got a, I got I got a question for you and a follow up for the girls. What's up? What does Jabrizi consider a high value woman? Hmm. Oh, that he shit just don't exist. Everybody Actually, he fucks hoes, oh, so I know his dick got bumped. So what's a yeah. high? Oh, 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 that don't exist. Oh, oh, I'm porn star. I'm a porn star. Excuse me. I'm the comedian. Oh, whatever. Stupid. Why are you taking stabs at me? I've been nice to you. I'm like, you be nice to her. She's right by you. I've been cool to you. He act like she's in front of you. She's nuts. She's absolutely nuts. Let me make a point. No point. I don't. No, I'm making my point. What's what is a high value woman to you? They don't exist. Every Every woman really? I've ever okay. met that said How would smart, you know? You keep interrupting everybody. Woo! Ow, what, what is that? The fuck? Oh. oh, is that you? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Cool. Go ahead. Yeah. Every woman I've ever met that said they're smart, I promise the guy, PhDs, doctors. They're stupid. Act fucking stupid. Like, yeah. so at that point, I was Agreed. highly convinced. 
There's no such thing as a high value woman. Okay, but hey, you just, you only what, been to Miami what, bro, and Vegas. Bro, you know, have you ever gone to like what? small town Utah or like somewhere where the girls are like pretty but nice? But because my I, I in they don't have PhDs, but they can survive on a desert in island. They can trap animals, cook them, and make and clothing with their skins. Like okay, look in relationships, <laughs> are you single? I literally have to start. I'm not single, and I'm never single. We just we just clarified. I just I just saying when you talk about women. So look. Look, look. There's two different real worlds, though. I'm just saying. I know. It's like major, big city, metropolitan. Yeah. Real okay. world. It's not really that real. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a little conflated. Like, a little bit. That's not how everyday people live their yeah. lives. Like, the majority of America is not in, like, you know, what is this? Like, a at least, like, a good five, half a million dollar studio over here, right? Like, they're not. They're not inside these every day. They're not invited to parties, clubs. You guys, like, yeah. live luxurious lives. Look, she has, like, a, you have, like, a, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, what is this right here? What is that? Uh, what do they call this? I don't know. I feel like Cartier. I dipped my toe uh, look, in kind of... I don't even know what Cartier is. I don't know what Cartier is. I come from a small town. I come from a small town. It's just, it's like we, we, call it, we call it Cartier here in Cartier. Las Vegas. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Don't don't speak. French, I don't speak French. Because look, the French lost uh, twice. <laughs> and why. the reason I don't think a high-value woman exists is because y'all argue about stupid shit. Bro, the last thing I was called upon on something stupid, a female told me, she said, we went to this party and you didn't even look at me. I, I feel oh as if Lord. you don't even see me. Well, number one, I see attractive bitches all the time. I'm actually fucking tuned out at this point. That's like, funny. They actually are annoying to look at sometimes because I know they want me to look at them. That's I'm funny because like, please stop. Like you are so annoying. I don't think I've ever gone to a party and noticed whether a guy looked at me or not all night. Like I'm just I'm having fun. Says, I'm but did you? But you grew up like Mormon though. Okay, like, but here let me Mormon ask. Let me ask something. you. Yeah, okay, there, that he does have that point. But I was gonna say, yeah. have you ever been at a, in a social situation? And you're with your girls or something, and another girl walks in, and you're like, you notice she gives you a dirty look. Are you more apt to see that? Hell fucking than, yeah. yeah. yeah see, Hell you know. fucking yeah. Because no it's one, what you're attuned to. At the end of the day, women, as, as, as much as as much as we want to say that, like, yeah, like we dress up for men, we don't. We dress up for other women. We notice so when other women. But the women are competing. But the women are competing with each other to the get the men typically. So it's no, like the rule is not yeah. look better than a bitch standing next to you. That's yeah, how a woman is. On a subconscious level, it, it might not even be conscious most I, of the time. The reason why women are in competition I don't with know, their I friends. I feel good when guys think I'm beautiful, or like I. I think it feels good when guys. I, I completely When agree. I know the guys think I'm hot. Okay. It look, definitely the does. The reason you know a high value woman doesn't exist. Look at Elon okay. Musk. He owns like what, four companies, and he has like right. the time to like tweet on Twitter and stuff like that. Yeah. But like women will make every fucking Love excuse, you, Elon. like that they can't do some shit. Bitches be acting like they busy. Oh. I'm busy. Bitch, you're not busy. I had it. look. It's a girl yeah, but that works for me. women together as if we're all the same. Because you are. Yeah. So look, what I'm saying is this, right? You pretty much are. You, look, I, if a Jabrizi, guy asks for advice, Jabrizi, how old are you? I'm exactly. 20. I'm about to be 28 this year. Oh, there you exactly. go. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just clarifying. I just got to answer questions. Yeah. I know. Huh? But yeah. you never answered Rolo. What do you consider a high value woman? Like, if, if there like, were. I'm, I'm genuinely were, curious what, to what hear what would that woman look let's make, like. What you make, consider let's that. Let's make this woman up, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. A woman who don't go out to the club. Mm -hmm. I think some people would disqualify for that one. I don't go to so, clubs. I don't really uh, he's go. invited me out so many times, and I don't go. I think at this table, one. this she man go here goes to the clubs more than anyone else. We're, 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 we're all going to Hakkasan after this, by the way. What's up, We got comp bottles at Hakkasan. Ready? We're going to that. She oh, doesn't man. go to the club, uh, all right? She doesn't dress like a prostitute. I didn't say she got to be a prostitute. Oh, well, I'm not. Can't dress like a prostitute. You have an exception. But anyway, what I'm saying is that, like, and also on top of that, she brings value to her household. And she has How does she do that? Can I go? Can I go? I got you. I got you. What does that look like? What is value to the household? She helps her man. I think in 2023, realistically, a woman needs to be busy, so she should have a fucking job. Okay. predominantly a high educated job because mm -hmm. most women never really took school serious enough to actually get a degree in so something she's serious. she's intelligent. Quite intelligent. She probably should have like a coding job or some shit like that. Coder. Might be fucking boring. A coder who is also a stripper on the side. <laughs> but just, just for you. Just for me. Just for me. See, just for me. Yeah. A one man yeah. slut. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I actually Bingo. agree with you. I, I like that. For the most part, I, I kind of think that a high value woman doesn't exist when we look at it from the dichotomy of like a high value man. Reason being is because I think a high value woman is a woman who lands a high value man and a woman who's able to support a high value man. I think that's what it comes down to because you look at the definition of high value for men and it cannot be equally applied to women because the, mm. the, the mark is for it 
are when we look at you know evolutionary psychology and gender roles and what actually makes women happy and fulfilled and makes them the best version of themselves it's mm -hmm. not the same metrics that men mm -hmm. use to become a high value man so for me i agree with you i don't think it exists i think a high value woman is a woman who lands mm -hmm. a high value man every woman look bro I, I run a multi-million dollar company and I promise that I'm so quiet about this shit. I know. And bitch, I couldn't tell. Like, I couldn't tell. Like, I bitch tell. said, I couldn't we tell. don't have the same goals. I, I'm so fucking quiet. Mm -hmm. Bitch looked at me and said, I don't think we have the same goals. I was like, bitch, you don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, you look, you sound fucking, mm -hmm. oh, you're fucking retarded. I think well, like, value. At this point, I literally just be looking at them like, you're fucking dumb. And that's why I don't think they exist. Now, yeah, like, Lana, 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 really Lana what, I was going to say, Lana, what is a high value woman to you, Lana? What is? Oh, wait, I just wanted to piggyback on what he said, because he mm -hmm. said he, that, that a high value woman doesn't exist, exist because, you know, when you talk to a woman, that's even educated she's still stupid it's because people are mm. people are smart in their own ways but they're also really fucking dumb in okay but way. a lot of girls play just the stupid like angle doctors, doctors to work are a situation fucking stupid doctors are retarded they situation. save lives but they think that they're supposed to be so highly respected because they're doctors but they're actually really dumb they're rude they're mm. they're, they're they're cocky people like so so mm -hmm. you 10 years of med school so like doesn't earn you I a little bit of arrogance what's wrong with being humble just because you're educated you can't be humble like humble humble is still something that should be high valued in my per in my personal opinion a high value woman i would say they don't exist but i personally believe a high value man doesn't exist either but if if a high value woman did exist what would she look like to look you? like or, or look like be like what were the characteristics um to be a perfect woman would be someone who's making a lot of money mm -hmm. doesn't compete with her husband still <laughs> makes a lot of money but doesn't compete. okay keep yeah. going doesn't compete with her husband, still can take care of her home and make a house a home, and is still a humble person who who understands that they're not smart all the time. You know, I, I just, pre I like a humble person and mm, someone yeah. with a lot of fucking humor. She mm. has to have a lot of dark humor. <laughs> there, there's a in saying general. that like the, yeah. the smartest person, wait, what's the saying? If yes. you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room and the smartest people mm. know that they don't know everything. They know yes. that, how smart yeah. they yes. actually yeah. and are. And if you can't yeah. spot the sucker at the table in the first five I minutes, and you're usually, the sucker. So, 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 <laughs> the loudest person in the room is usually the stupidest. Right. Oftentimes, mm. yeah. There we go, so. Oh. <laughs> I rather I rather be the dumbest one in my friend of groups. Friend, uh, my friend of oh yeah, I, oh listen, my god! Listen, I, I'll tell I you totally right just now. butchered that. We, <laughs> we we quadrupled our revenue when I started spending hanging out with Dan Fleischman, Ty Lopez. When I started hanging out with Brad Lee, Brad Lee's when, I, when I started hang, when I started these are all high ticket closers mm -hmm. that run like hundred million dollar companies. Mm -hmm. When this became my friend group, you're mm -hmm. definitely right. Like I just just mm -hmm. hanging out with Wes Watson. He's doing three million a month, ninety percent profit with no sales team. I need like whatever this guy's doing. I need to learn from. So you're completely right about that but let's mm -hmm. let's make a, a point here if a woman is a heart transplant surgeon and she saves my child she's a high value woman to me mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean her sexual market value is higher mm -hmm. this is the difference for a man his sexual market value and the things that make him valuable to society are the same thing mm -hmm. he's an nfl quarterback so he's a, attractive to women he's an nfl quarterback so we pay him a lot of money they are the same thing he's a famous actor so he's attractive to women he's a famous actor so we pay him a lot of money they're the same thing for a woman like for, for instance madame curie discovered radium and radiation radioactivity she died of it she that didn't make her husband's penis harder because she discovered radium. These are, this is the thing that makes it different. For women, they can be high value mm -hmm. and and their sexual market value has nothing to do with it. And the reason why, well, he was saying before, we're attractive homeless people because you can, you, you have two people, they walk up to a, a nightclub. One of them is a doctor, Is a he's a doctor. He's a, he works in Doctors for Without Borders. He makes about $400,000 a year. This guy has literally mm. saved tens of thousands of children, like maybe in Africa. He's done incredible like surgeries pro bono for years. Incredible human being. He, he wears a plaid shirt and some fucking loafers, and he goes up to the nightclub. And then there's some girl who's like 19 years old with a fake ID who's like smoke, like does a bunch of cocaine and just fuck three dudes. Nice. Who, gets, who gets in the club faster? The girl. The girl. Mm. The girl. Pretty That's the, the reason because, and again, I'm not trying to say this to denigrate women in, in general, but the, the point is for for a man, the things that make him valuable and attractive to women can be and often are the same thing. And for a woman, they have nothing to do with each other. The things that make her attractive, she can be uneducated and st she's at the front of the line. Yep. She gets to I go on the boat, the boat with Drake. She gets to do all this kind of stuff without without any effort. And that's the thing. It's not that it's unfair. It's just both of us have to recognize. We're, as men, we are not mating strategies. As men, we are not special snowflakes. Nobody 
nobody gives a fuck about me because I don't have big fake boobs. Nobody is going to come save me. And if I get if I get cheated on, the only thing I can do is get bigger muscles, make more money, and do better in life. If a girl who's stunning gets cheated on, she just has to wait five seconds and check her DMs. And there's some other dude in the DMs. So it's very different for men and women. As long as we both understand that. That's the reality we live in. And let me throw this out well, here. You know what? I, I want to add this to this. You know, I say that a woman's education level, taking it serious, yeah. is, is a big thing to me. Because mm -hmm. if she took her career serious, she'll take me serious when she's dealing with me. Mm -hmm. That's something you really don't see women do, mm -hmm. right? Think about this. A D1 athlete. How serious did you have to be to be a Division I athlete? Mm -hmm. Very fucking serious. Mm -hmm. So a woman who's a D1 athlete, I was messing with this girl, she's like a D1 uh, tennis player. Not mm -hmm. tennis player, uh, golf player, mm -hmm. right? Nice. She's very, very serious. And, mm -hmm. and the cooperation you get from a person who takes shit serious in life, mm -hmm. okay. if they say they're with you, they're with, with you. you. Yeah. And men understand this. If you tell that bitch that you ain't <laughs> trying to don't go to the club, Best believe, if she's serious about their relationship, she her whole life she took everything serious. She's not going to. The I get that. Which is what Rose? I was about Rosie? to say is is it can be kind of it can all be simplified, and I think that pretty much any guy would agree w with this that what makes a woman high value to him is that she genuinely is just so like she wants to please him so much because he's yeah. literally everything, and she'll intuitively try to do things that she knows are gonna br make him happier or like make his life better or bring him yeah. peace. Yeah, and. And for girls, high value men, like I've talked to a lot of girls since the last podcast and there have been a lot of girls that are like, you can't call a guy who makes a lot of money high value because some mm -hmm. girls prefer monogamy over money. They do that to them. That's more valuable. I know women who that's valuable to sure. And, and so you can't really speak for all women, but I think for men, it's kind of like, does she, does she genuinely like without me having to ask her? do little things that she knows are going to make me happier or that right. like mm -hmm. kind of try to like do th changes in her life that she knows will just like, cause she wants to please him. Also, mm -hmm. I, think, I think men should really start looking at women like a little harder for these long-term relationships. Sometimes I got to chin check women like real hard. Last <laughs> chin -check. Check. You got to chin check. Cause you got to, you got to listen to this. I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure. If Sharp was let here, him he let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Right cook. Here. Look, one time a woman said, I'm a high value woman, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I looked at this bitch. I said, you're five two. <laughs> You're short. My entire family is fucking tall. My mother could have been an Olympian. She ran track. My mom was fucking fast. My brother is a basketball player. My other brother is like me 2.0. The little nigga is like making money at like 20, doing amazingly. The other one is going to college over in Atlanta. I was like, bitch, my whole family is like black excellence. Um... <laughs> And we're like genetically gifted. Like, what the fuck? I, why would I risk my shit with I want, you? I, bitch, I him, was cooperating I want with him you versus Nick Fuentes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought about it until you open your mouth. I want you to debate Nick Fuentes. That would be interesting. Uh, oh, that would be really interesting. Could I push back on the thing that you were saying before, though? So you're saying that if a woman takes her career or her uh, her education very seriously, then she's mm -hmm. gonna have some characteristics that will then play out well in a relationship. For sure. I think oftentimes it can be a double-edged sword, though, because especially depends on the industry, but often times for women to excel in their career they need to adapt more masculine qualities in order to do so because mm -hmm. oftentimes they are competing with men mm -hmm. and these are qualities that could take them out of being the ideal mother mm -hmm. the ideal partner because of those qualities that they need to you have adapt. a point but not really because that's those stupid women those women who say like yo uh i make my own money and this bitch is just doing yoga the boss the best the boss like, lady girls you mean? like no the, the, yeah the boss lady girls it's very different Girl boss. A, a woman a woman who's worked her entire life to maybe like work at a corporation mm -hmm. right that's a high level paying job mm -hmm. is very different from a boss chick. Not every the guy boss feels chick that way, is like though. just looking at tutorials on YouTube to figure out some shit. <laughs> Probably using her looks, her networking skills to get around. The bitch ain't really that smart. The bitch is just good looking. I can tell the difference. The other bitch, yeah, the yeah other they, bitch they, is pretty they smart. All, and, they, and they all have they all have podcasts on crypto until okay, they don't have Okay, but not every guy feels that way because I went to college. I was a surgical assistant for a while, and mm -hmm. the fact that I like was in this did. Uh, oral surgical assisting for a while and and then when I didn't like it didn't make a difference to most guys they didn't care whether mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. working a job or in fact the guy that I'm with preferred me not to be working a job because he mm -hmm. wants me to manage the house Lord. he likes me to cut his hair do the cooking you know keep the house going and I mean I still do stuff on the side because we're trying to I'm trying to contribute money mm -hmm. so we can both build something together and mm -hmm. it's going to help is, us is both rich? get 
he's not rich, but mm. he has a new company and it's growing really fast. So he's like, oh, he's poten- ambitious. He he's going places. Then why don't you just help him grow his company? I always, I well, always we are. I never think women see like math and numbers. Like, okay, but well, and you well, want to know why that? You want to know why that are, is? But you want to know why that is? Is because right now, uh, really, I would say since the sexual revolution, but certainly for the last three generations, we have uh, systematically educated women on when it comes to masculinity that masculinity is ridiculous that it is like fake that it is false it's a mask that guys are wearing that if they were actually them real their real selves mm-hmm. they'd look more like women they would look be more vulnerable they'd be who more fake get, get into Mark. yeah you know who said mm-hmm. that Gloria Steinem Betty Frieden all the uh, militant era uh, who feminists who were well have you ever heard women say this like i don't need a man but i want a man that's me. Right? See? I, that, exactly. I need a man because right. I want a family I, yes. and, and I want to And you know, and you know why, that, and you know why know? that is? And you know why that is? Is because women have become the men that they want to marry right now. Oh, because, yeah. And because, and here's the systematic part of this, because we have systematically educated women and taught women that men are untrustworthy. They are fundamentally untrustworthy and they cannot be relied upon for long-term security, for parental investment, for uh, for protection, for provisioning, <clears throat> and that if they can't get it from a man in the long term, they're going to have to do it themselves. Yeah. So every woman that's on the table right now, we, and you're not to pick, pick on anyone in particular because we have all these women do the same thing, mm-hmm. is they get into these situations where they're making their own damn money. They don't need a man, but they want a man. Mm-hmm. The reason why they don't need a man is because they've already taken care of for themselves protection, provisioning, parental investment, and all the things that present re, that represent long-term security yeah. for themselves. So who's left? What kind of man do they want? They want to fuck Jason Momoa. They want to fuck uh, Justin Waller. They want to have hot monkey sex with the guy who's the alpha guy because they got no use. Guy. They got no. But Zerka. Yeah. You want to fuck Zerka. You want to fuck Zerka. Yeah. They, have, they, have, they, have, they, have, they have no use. They have no use for yeah. a guy who doesn't make as much money, who isn't as, as uh, who can't possibly compete with you on OnlyFans as far as like he's going to go be a plumber or even if he's a registered nurse, he's still. Hell, there are surgeons that don't make as much money as top level earners like yep. say on OnlyFans yeah. or yeah. porn or in and God knows or in real estate or whatever it is that they end up getting into later on because women have become the men that they want to marry and then can't understand why they can't find a top level elite Steph. level guy to get to go off into the future. Steph, you were going to say something? Oh, I was just going to say that yeah, like I think women nowadays definitely are scared because you can't put all your, you know, eggs, eggs in, in the that basket. basket because if the relationship goes south then you're left vulnerable and you've relied on that man for everything, you know, financially yeah. and living. So right. we do because make our own fortune. Right. And what that is is that's but, that's fear. I have an existential at the same fear. But see, if I'm going to make a family with a guy, I'm going to put all my eggs in that basket. And if the relationship starts to go south, I'm going to fight for let, let, let it. Let her finish. Yeah, she had, let her finish her thought. I was just saying like but at the same but time, scary. you can be a strong and independent woman and you find the right guy, you will be submissive for You'll the right man. You'll feel safe to put your eggs in that basket. Because every woman yeah. wants to feel like a girl and they want to feel girly feminine. and feminine. Right. And they want to be submissive. Most women, even if they won't admit it, they do want to be but somewhat they can't submissive. find the guy to be submissive. They'll yes, always defer to a to, man in, in charge of it. I want makes someone. Feel safe. I 100% I wouldn't feel like, settle for someone that was less than me. I want them to be more powerful you, than you me. Want, you want to know something I've noticed? So there's, there's a book I, I love. It's called Why Women, women Have Sex by David Buss and Cindy Messon. It goes over all these different reasons why women have sex with men and when men get into you know pissing what contests fuck? whatever you should read it's fantastic <laughs> that sounds like a dumb book i'm sorry <laughs> i was gonna say why like, men cha- have sex with women no no why why women, why have, women, sex women have, have sex with yeah. they no, run a sex book sex and it's like study by like, men just that's kidding. so stupid <laughs> I, I bet you uh, the you book, read it the, the book's 500 pages long but the, but the title so the title is marketing now it's marketing what do you mean i'm just i'm curious why do you think it's dumb it's a fantastic book that, I mean, it's written by two evolutionary psychology you, PhDs. I mean, okay. I'm like, well, I would read that. To be fair, I feel like if you... Do you understand? Chapter 8 is if extortion. you have to Chapter study is, sex no, no, and you're, having sex with women, no, no, and you're no. writing a book about it, and you have all kind of men who have to read... But it's written about... It's, 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 it's just... It's uh, just yeah, now, now I know where you're at. It's just as many men as women no. reading. It, this is not a pickup book. It is a literal book on human sexuality. Sydney Messon is a PhD. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, but you still have people who have to read... 
dude, you don't understand. Right. This is not Sex? a hold on. stop. This is not a how to book. No, no, hold the, that. Hold that. It's thought. not a how to. I'm no, not no, saying it's how no, to. No, the reason why you're having that response right now is yeah. because you think that the guys who are like worthy of your time and your attention shouldn't have to wait. read a fucking book. No, wait. They should know it no, by, no, no, by no. magic came down on them, or they should be natural. I was just about to say Any guy who would need any guy who would need to educate himself is not the guy for you. No, I I did not mean that because I was going to say something about that because I feel like people today the reason why people are having such a like men versus women and having such a hard time dating is because everybody now thinks that they are worth something (laughs) that they are not and people come into a relationship saying like oh I'm worth it I'm worth it I'm worth it I'm worth it and you have to act a certain way you have to you are enough girl you go no not even that no it's not even that I'm saying I'm saying people people tend to date already thinking that they're worth something like i have money i have oh, status yeah. i am beautiful all this bullshit mm-hmm. they come in into the relationship like but you it's, it's owe, hang on, hang on. Like, like you owe me something but at the same mm-hmm. time it's like well what what do you bring to the table and how are you proving it are you proving mm-hmm. it with your actions and not with your fucking dumb ass words yeah but a lot of women have sex with men when their actions what? are not in line well, what, what, what if their actions are, but i'm talking that about actual actions, wait, 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 actions let me, don't let me, make a dot of sense yeah let me let me go back to my main point 237 reasons why women have sex with men and they made a joke at the, at the beginning of the book they're like if we made a book titled why men have sex it would be a pamphlet like it'd be very short <laughs> very easy to understand because she's pretty right, young yeah <laughs> pretty much so the thing is when men when we get into these red pill tiffs mm. it's never about male motivation you notice that like <laughs> yeah, we're all we like to inspire I, like, guys we, you know, but, but, you know, what i mean by that is what i mean yeah. by that is we don't look at margot robbie and wolf of wall street or we don't look at selma hayek and dust till dawn and be like you know what you think she's hot i don't think she's hot. we don't ever have those discussions we all like our heterosexuality is kind of like when i said before hey guys would you be able to have sex with another woman and still come back to your wife and still like totally respect her. Every guy says yes to that because mm-hmm. our motivations are uniform. It's what's called negative kurtosis, meaning like the normal distribution is narrow like this with fat tails. And for women, you guys are all going after each other where one of you says, I would never have sex with a guy for money. And another girl's like, I care about money more. And then we had <laughs> CJ Sparks on here saying like, I only want a guy who makes $5 million. Mm-hmm. And we had Jamie Lynn on here, or Jamie, uh, uh, no yeah. More. Jamie Villamar on here, like, the average guy is six foot two. And, like, we, <laughs> so we have all these. So for you guys, it's just this whirlpool of 237 reasons. Uh, By the way, chapter the, eight, chapter one in the book revolves is revolves phys- around our reality. Correct. Which is different than ever. Chapter than one yes. in the book it's is about, female uh, is about being attracted to men. Yeah. Chapter eight is extortion. Like, there's, it's every reason women have sex, including grape. It, like, it's every reason women have sex. Mm-hmm. It's a really dark book. And that's what you should read. I don't think you understand what the book's about. It's not okay. a, it's not a how to totally pick up. I would totally read. Book. Not, it's a book on evolutionary that. psychology. It's a phenomenal. I'll take that back. I, then. I, 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 I got this. I have I a this. question. By the way, hold, hold on. Do you know? Do you want to know why men continue to stalk women? Because twelve percent of the time it works, <laughs> and you find out about it's that in this book. Persistence. It's called persistence. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, women, right. women, Great. women will consistently Don't like like, like they'll, they'll, literally a guy will stalk mm-hmm. a girl, and twelve percent of the time, I mean like one out of every eight times, the woman literally gives up because the guy has chased off all the other suitors. So the reason why there's an evolutionary adaptation <laughs> yeah. for men to stalk women <laughs> is because sometimes yeah. it works. Yeah. That's scary yeah. as fuck when you and realize then, it. And if you're Grant Cardone, you can go well. and build a whole yeah. career on that's, that. That's, 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 that's my bad. That's my bad. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Go good, Mike. So I feel like nowadays it's hard for guys to like view women as high value because it's like what you were saying before made me think when you're like, I want a woman who focuses on her career, has a great career path, has a PhD. I want her to be smart, right? And I'm not saying go after somebody who's stupid, but if you're expecting somebody to go to college, get this degree, build a career, <clears> who's raising your kids? And mm-hmm. when are you having kids? Because mm-hmm. if she's building her career, she can't just stop. So what? So let's put our kids in daycare. Great idea. Let's get, let's let the government raise our kids. <laughs> That's what but I'm saying earlier. Time, is, I, I, wa- I want to be a homemaker. Okay. I want to, you know, I still want to be able to make my own money. But one of my goals in life is I want to be able to raise kids that are not raised by the government how I want my kids to be raised. Mm. And that's going to be something where I know I'm not going to be able to have a nine to five. Yeah. Look. I'm, I have this perspective. Wife you know, <laughs> check this out. I, I came to this conclusion in my life. You know, feminism made me miss racism. I mean, if it does, bro, I got I got somebody for you to debate. Okay, that was good. Uh, yeah. I got somebody for you to debate. Wait, boy, let me, let me break it down. 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 Because I, I sat back in my head one day and I said, when did... Who was like a feminist that really fought for this? When did this start? And I was like, holy shit. 
they, they were fighting for feminism when they had slaves. I was like, oh shit, mm-hmm. oh, it's happened again in history. It was way before yeah, this. you're not wrong. And again, yeah. and again. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you tell itself. me that none of these bitches had to cook clean it would have just been my ancestors, and they still weren't happy. I was like, you know what? I give up. I'm not trying to make any woman happy. That's when I officially just checked the fuck out. Oh I that like, makes I so done. much sense. Nigga, oh I was done. God, I'm so good. I was done. Okay, and that's said- why. But even with the hot, with the high value woman, look. The truth. The truth be told is this: she'll make time for whatever she really wants, and, and put, it, put it like this. It's a, it's a woman I, I know. Uh, I'm dealing with of many, but. <laughs> Fuck One you, of them. Bro. He's never single. He's got like this. Yeah, there it is. He's got gotcha. you. He's got gotcha. you. Gotcha. She's a very gotcha. intelligent girl. Very, very intelligent girl. Gotcha, bitch. Um, <laughs> she does like uh, coding and financing mm-hmm. for uh, some company now. Oh, that's why you said Over that. on the oh, West Coast. Okay. No, but there's a couple girls I mess with like that, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. And beautiful girl. Do you know how much free time she really has? Like, it's That's ridiculous. I'd say a like, nine they, to five. Uh, she works when like two days. When you have a baby days. and they're waking up, you can't just leave them to go to your nine I, to five. I promise to God. No, I don't think you understand like her, her schedule. She only has to come into work two times out of the entire week. Other than that, she's just working on her laptop. Yeah, I, I'm not saying don't I believe work, a housewife but I'm saying if can, you're a doctor, can do like mm-hmm. can bring an in income as well. But like you were saying earlier, why don't you just help with his company? Because mm-hmm. my skill set is different than his, and it's more efficient for me to do what I'm good at. And for him to do what he's good at, like for me to go, mm-hmm. like go be on the job, and like I'm not very efficient. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> and so if I bring income in what I'm good at, and he and we work together to like create something that we can bring kids into like a yeah. non broke situation, that's kind of where we're at now. See, I'm all for corporate pimping, right? I, I think uh, <laughs> Sharp is straight. Like he, I don't, pimp, I don't know. He don't. He never said he's a pimp. On camera, but allegedly, allegedly, right? Allegedly, I don't want to get the man locked up. But what I'm saying is this: like, look, see, I'm for it. I want my girl to go out and go make some money, please. And if you gonna make some money, please make a big ass bag every year and put it in my yeah. hand. That's all I'm asking, Amy. See, and that's why I fight like, for the women who really you. make the bag. Now something? look, if she don't make a bag. I think well, I, I lost I, it already. I, 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 I changed thing. like three times. I one thing. Ready, had ready, yeah. ready, guys? Hear it. Uh, at what year could African Americans vote? Anybody? Mm. The Fifteenth Amendment was ratified. Eighteen, eighteen. No, the Fifteenth Amendment come on, was come ratified. On, come on, Tiffany, you know this. I don't know. Don't look at me. Everybody look at me. I'm black. Eighteen sixteen, I think. Eighteen sixteen. Fifties. It's going to be 1860. The Civil War was 1865. The 15th Amendment was ratified in, on February 3rd, 1870. Oh damn! I got the 18 right. When could women vote? Oh, I know Nin- that. I know that. 1921. Huh? 1920. 1920. August 18th. Plus. 1920. 1920. 1920. So we, we let African Americans vote 50 years before we let women. You can do with that what you will. You can come up with whatever. Conclusion. As a black guy, my perspective, that's why I have <laughs> so Earlier. So y'all want to know. There you go. Bingo. Boom. I know the truth. I have a question, though, like, yes. like regarding feminism. Mm-hmm. Why do we still need it in America? We don't. We don't. We don't. We, don't. we just. We don't. I, Thank I you. actually wish you hoes would stop messing with that shit. That part. I'm like messing with crack. Mess with I, I, and crack isn't good for you, but you, women love crack. Listen, it's <laughs> I feel like I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't, I, smoke I wasn't done on my thought uh, though, respectfully, uh, because if, if you know if we have feminists in America, why aren't they feminists for women in Saudi Arabia? Why are they feminists for women in serious? Afghanistan? Because I'm dead <laughs> fucking serious. Hey, listen, I, we I, have I, everything I, I, in this fucking like, country. I'll, I'll t- I can tell you but what. But I think feminism killed traditional gender roles. Well, and that's it's kind of come back around a bit itself in the ass. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Feminism was never about equality. It was only about retribution and restitution. Do you, that's all it's about. Revenge. I'm curious. It's never been about equality. A hundred years ago, would you have found some commonality with first wave feminism? No. Not at all. No, no. And I'll tell you why. Because people don't know the history. That's why. So when people talk about like, oh, there's first wave, second wave, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They, they don't even, they couldn't even tell you like what the difference is between like second and third wave feminism, but yeah. they sure shit know what first wave feminism was, which was the suffragette movement, okay? So you got to remember that, and this is where it's tracked historically, is from uh, 1849 Seneca Falls, when they was the, I forget the girl's name, but anyways, that's the, the uh, Seneca Falls uh, convention where they had the articles of grievances and stuff. And so you got to remember from right about, let's just round it off, 1850 until 1920 when they got their, 
the right to vote, you're looking at 70 fucking years, okay? Damn. And it's not just in the United States, it's also in Europe, it's also in Britain, it's all over the place. And when, you have to remember that when women were disallowed the right to vote, it was because, not because they were necessarily property, mm. it's because that their husbands were responsible for the decisions and the actions mm -hmm. of that woman and their children. <laughs> so if she commits a, com a criminal act, the husband is responsible. Nobody wants to talk about that shit. Back then, there's also uh, was it the um, the, uh, the, co the was it the covenant laws? I can't remember the. Um, I'm trying to remember the uh, the actual term, but it's like women were, will always say, "Well, women couldn't own property." No, they could own property back then. It was uh, <coughs> somebody will give it to me, but it it was the the laws that were on books was that a woman could own property as long as she wasn't married. If she was married to a man, then all of that, all the rights of, of uh, if she inherited a business from her family, if she had money, if she had land. Mm -hmm. All of that would be transferred over to the husband if she were to get married. If she were stay, to stay single, she would stay there and, and she could you know, control it all she wanted to because it was the legalities and the responsibilities of the husband to be responsible for the decisions of that woman. So if that woman were to have that business and it went to went bankrupt, she would not be responsible for it. The husband he cleans would be, up the would mess, be, would be which is why there was duels, for it. duels yes. and that type of yes. stuff. So, so that's, that's one thing. So it's, as not unlike today, women had more financial freedom, had more like personal freedom outside of marriage than they did inside of marriage. Mm. Now mm. men have more freedom outside of marriage mm -hmm. and more direction, direct control and power over their lives than they do inside of marriage. Mm -hmm. That's one of the, my, the major reasons I talk about how like, I am all for I'm all I am all for marriage. <laughs> I've been married shit. for I've been married for twenty seven. He fucking truth bomb. <laughs> yeah. I've been married oh, for twenty. I've been married for twenty seven years. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not against marriage, but I am against the way we do it now, and that is precisely one yeah. like Whoa. one of the big reasons I am because men have more power, freedom. They have more direct authority and control over their lives and over their businesses, too, by the way. Because what, what's the first thing that gets divvied up in a really ugly divorce? The guy's businesses. That's the guys, crazy. and when, and then another thing, how does that affect that man's business? So if he gets into a divorce, his wife almost takes the business away from him. How many people want to invest in his next project because he's bet, made some really bad decisions in his mm -hmm. personal life and they don't want to lose their investments. Oh, so there's a lot of other things that go along with the, it's not just about, oh, I'm going to lose half my stuff. No, mm -hmm. there's so much more attached to that. Even, That's yeah, child, fa family, businesses, mm -hmm. friends. Um, it, that your kids, your grandkids are all going to be affected by whether or not you you picked the right woman. You didn't vet right. And, we'll all, and what we do when something like, when it goes sour, with, with in a, in a, it goes into a divorce, we, we, talk, we tell the guy, you didn't vet right. You didn't pick the right one. Oh, she, you know, she was, yeah, you know, she, or maybe you did something or you need to be better next time. So, yeah. so when you do get remarried, then you won't make the same mistakes because it's all on you. It's like, well, that's also part of the whole pie. So like when people say like I'm against mm -hmm. marriage or I have to deal with like traditional conservatives like giving me shit about stuff, mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not just the, I'm gonna lose half my stuff. No, mm -hmm. that is that is just the tip of the fucking iceberg for that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so, what, so as far as feminism is concerned, there are no waves of feminism. There's no first, second, or third wave. It's all the same fucking thing from, from 1849 all the way up to 2023 right now. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the impetus and the push for the movement that is feminism was interrupted by world wars, by social unrest, by the you know the Bolsheviks, mm -hmm. and you know where it, it, whatever the the the, uh, the it, throughout the course of history, whatever interrupted that uh, sort of put 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 that on hold right up until 1965, where we have the invention of hormonal birth control, mm -hmm. and all bets have been off since then. So I'm working on a, on a, on a book right now called 1971 because that's about right right where all this shit goes it goes south. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> the, uh, the but 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 see the one thing that brought the preeminence of feminism sort of to the to the surface was putting the control of reproduction unilaterally in the control of women. They're the ones who decide who gets born. That's why we, you know, it's her body, her choice. Mm -hmm. Right up right up until the sexual revolution, you would never hear anything like that. Uh, uh, was it reproductive rights? We have, uh, you know, abortion on demand. That's another so fail safe for bad reproductive choices. So it puts it puts a fail safe in the in the hands of women, solely in the hands of women. If men have anything to say, they got no seat at the table, quote unquote, when mm -hmm. it comes up. So when we're talking about feminism, it's not 
first wave, second wave, whatever, the first wave suffragettes were considered terrorists back then. They were responsible for bombing police precincts, churches. They were uh, plotted assassination attempts against political leaders at the time who opposed the suffragette movement. They were, uh, uh, in some cases, very hostily racist. To depend, like it was like votes for white women, but not for black women. Oh, I know. And so, the, and it, so, throughout the course of history, it has only been a supremacy movement that has been based on two things, and it's not equality. It's restitution and retribution for this perceived you know, perceived wrongs throughout history mm -hmm. and based on pretty much what is like, we will say it's oppression or anything else. No, men and women have been oppressed throughout history. We only look at women because women are the vulnerable sex. They're the ones that need protection from men. Men are the disposable sex. Women are the vulnerable sex. So like when mm -hmm. women say they hate to be called the weaker sex, no, but you are the vulnerable sex because you have children, your reproductive costs and your- uh, We're just physically uh, not as strong. Well, and, and, you're di and we are fundamentally different. Well, if you got so. pregnant, you, you couldn't yeah. really be- So, so the, well, the biggest-, the biggest Think emotionally too. The, the biggest problem oh, yeah. with feminism right now is this is this lie that is based on equality. Mm -hmm. That equality idea is based on the blank slate, meaning that like everybody's a blank slate and we're all the same. That's how you get transgenderism. That's how you get all the rest of this stuff. And it's this belief that fundamental belief that uh, that human beings are like exactly the same, rather than like we are fundamentally biochemically, psychologically, neurologically different from. For one very another. good reason. We're not yeah. the same. We're not. We're not. Yeah. Men and women are not equal. Mm -hmm. no, I, no, because I, because what's equal? That's the the principle of equal. See, I, when I was on Dr. Phil and I got asked that question, they're like, "You don't believe in equality?" I'm like, "No, no. I do not believe in equality," because we're you need to define terms. Mm -hmm. What's the challenge? What's the uh, what's the context of that equality? That's if it's childbirth, I can't give birth because I'm a biological male. But if I f am made to feel that it's so unfair and I'm oppressed that I need to have some surgical you know thing done to me, or I got mm -hmm. I got to I got to create a, a, a new Kickstarter fund to like See, fund my mm -hmm. my protests about not being able to. That's I right. uh, would never even occur to me, right? Mm -hmm. But the challenge is childbirth. Only women can have children. Okay, there are only two sexes. There are only two. Mm -hmm. Genders, thank you very much. But the thing is, is that within that context, like for instance, if it's if it comes to like say, um, you know, throwing a baseball or something, men have a natural proclivity to be able to throw a ball with more force, but their you know more accuracy and put their 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 shoulders into it, like just mm -hmm. without without even being taught to do that because mm -hmm. it's just something innate to, to the human male. That's kind of where feminism that's, falls through, is they advocate mm -hmm. for transgender men in women's sports, and that's where it's just oh because it's because the argument. Is it's, be, it's because yeah. the psychology is what? is smashing headlong into reality. That's why, it's and they so, can't they can't hold they can't hold up the through. line anymore. It falls through. Well, but so the, so long the long is short, short of this is that th depending on what the challenges or the context is, what are we talking about equality? Mm -hmm. Okay, because there's certain things that I'm going to be better at. Right. As being a biological male in the way I think and the things mm -hmm. that I do, then say what she's going to be. Now, she has strengths and talents and, and uh, that are innate to being female mm -hmm. that I don't have. Right. So we're innate complements to one another, evolved complements to one another. Yeah. The biggest problem with feminism, why do we still have feminism today, is because we still believe in this horse shit that we're all the same and they're <laughs> all blank slates and they ain't they all, oh, we're just the plumbing's different. Get well, the fuck well, out well, of here. What's funny most. is that like, aside from um, being able to males being able to give birth, we do mm. have a quality of opportunity. Pretty we much, do. you look around. We there have is a quality e of opportunity. Do. We don't have a quality of outcome, but again, that comes down to what mm. you said. Men and women are different, so naturally, the results and outcomes are going to play mm. out a little bit different. Let me let me tag one more thing on here because I know you. I think I watched you on Destiny's show. I don't know what the hell he mm -hmm. calls it, but. He was saying something to the effect that a, a, like the, the ideal state for human beings is to have, like for men, just to have a little bit more masculinity than their femininity. And for women, it's supposed to have a little bit more femininity than their masculinity. But they're mm -hmm. both supposed to be as close to androgynous as possible. First know. of all, that's a pipe dream I'm because it is that. biologically impossible for that to happen because mm -hmm. biologically, genetically, your brain architecture is going to be that of a female or that of a male. So mm -hmm. that is simply not going to happen. 
nor is it something that we ought to teach people to that try to like level two thing off. Mm -hmm. Because which... because what's really I mean from a biological like naturalistic perspective, men should be really high in masculinity and eh, kind of low in that femininity kind of thing because that's the natural state. And if you put those two and women femininity and a masculinity down there, mm -hmm. put those two together and you have a great fucking relationship. Mm -hmm. The end goal for feminism and for wokeism and for gynocentrism or whatever the fuck it is, it, name the ism, it's androgyny. And mm -hmm. androgyny always leads to stagnation. It always leads to the death of a species mm -hmm. when they are, when there's, when they're in that kind of balanced state because they're mm -hmm. unable to adapt to a changing chaotic environment. Mm -hmm. Androgyny is never the fucking goal and it's even just coming close to it is never gonna be better mm -hmm. than you have a traditionally conventionally masculine guy and a traditionally co a conventionally mm -hmm. feminine, feminine female because the two are better compliments when you do that. If right. you have them both, they're, they're, they become things. Mm -hmm, when, yeah. you're, when you're androgynous, there's no, you don't need anything outside of yourself. You don't, right. because you, because really, if you think about it, androgynous species, they fuck themselves. Isn't that, they isn't do, it? and they reproduce like independent, like <laughs> yeah. hermaphroditic budding right. or some right. shit right. like that. Right. Like, right. And, you know, you know and you know what does that? Earthworms. They clone. That's what they fuck Roll on my I, I want to ask this like, question. Even some plants are You guys ever be female. fucking with a bitch? And like, <laughs> here we go, like, bring it down. Like, you calculator. Like, you uh, have okay. her around you, yeah. and you're just like, you're being yourself, you're doing your thing. Maybe you're making music, right? Sure. Right? Maybe you're just like talking to some people, showing her around, some networking. And you can see it in her eyes. She wants to be you so bad. She holds it in her side. Holds it inside. What? Holds it inside. She just wants to be you so bad. Where it's what makes her happen? like you. But you can honestly see in her eyes. She wants to be you so bad. I swear to God. Dude, in another life, you would make a really good Baptist minister. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> what? I wasn't going to say it. What do you mean? I mean, she wants to. Look, I wasn't going to say it. Look, I, look. Well, I notice when women are around me, I'll be looking at them dead in their fucking face, and they'll be looking like this. And I'm like, what is that? That look? That look is is you being at all and amazed. Do you think it's would they want to be you, or you, do they want to live your life? They they want to be me. They want to. I want to be a boss chick so bad. Oh, now they feel like they want to be a boss. Now they want to. Now they want to be like. Oh, I, I run my. Like, it's funny because so, they come back to you with their little stories. Mm -hmm. I'm running my business. I'm doing this and that. And I'm like, oh, that's good for you. Um, but why are we talking about business? I don't even want to talk about my own business. Like, when's the last time I talked about my business with just you? Now? So 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 one of the issues that podcast. I'm about is, okay. If I, if, I, 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 like, if I were to so. say like, ladies, just just on its <laughs> you face. Mentioned it twice. If I were guys, if I were going to explain to you guys how to create an offer. Like, like a, a sales offer that made you a hundred million dollars. Would you guys be interested in that? Yeah. Hell, well, raise, yeah. raise your hand if you would. Okay. Yeah. How? And you guys have all read the hundred million dollar offer by Alex Ramosi. Mm -hmm. No, you have. I and put your hand I down. You have. Okay. Cool. How many of you got? You wouldn't want to know that. Again, uh, you want to be incredible salespeople, and you're pulling two, three million a year. Right. You guys would be interested in that. Hell yeah. Yeah. You'd be Hell interested yeah. In How many of you guys have read Way of the Wolf by by Jordan Belfort? Again, she has. So the, the, the issue the issue that I'm having is whenever I talk, it's we usually call it the Disneyland effect. Everyone wants to go to Disneyland until it's time to actually get up early in the morning and go to Disneyland and nobody wants to go. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have a discussion like what he says before about the inner workings of my business, women are immediately always interested. And then once we get to at actually Ty Lopez up there on their speaking, then they're like, oh, Hey, I read other books. You just didn't name no, 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 it. I, I, I ask <laughs> actual people. Huh? I ask actual people. I understand. But, but the thing is we all start like when you're serious, like this is my life. You'll this be putting the work in already. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's my point. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, a segue. I'm actually uh, teaching something with Ty Lopez this weekend. If mm -hmm. you guys are, are watching, I'm going to put a uh, link in the chat if you guys want to come. He's here all weekend and I'm going to be making some content. Ty and I are going to be doing a program together. But the thing is, whenever I ask it, and it's, it's interesting that you say that, I, whenever I hear these women talk about their bu building their, this funnel, I'm like, you don't know who Russell Brunson is, but you keep saying that you have these plans and mm -hmm. all this info has been there for you for free, but you don't. You keep saying that you want to understand why the, the guy did this to you, but you have not read a single book mm -hmm. by David Buss. And I don't 
don't understand why you're still reading the five love languages when there's a book <laughs> the secret book. when there is a book called literally the evolution of desire by david buss that has a clear description of why you are attracted to what you're attracted to or why women have sex or when men behave badly or the ape that understood the universe or mate or any of these other books alpha god any of these other the books, rational male the rational male Let's exactly you, you guys i love you, you too guys, <laughs> you. but you guys you guys chose you guys chose not to read like that's my point it's like whenever like whenever i go into self-help places especially when it has to do with money it is 99 percent men mm -hmm. it is but i keep but it goes back to what you're saying before if i start the conversation with who here wants to make 100 million dollars every girl raises their hand mm -hmm. but as soon as we go into putting the work in and i don't know what else to say but like it just i never whenever i go to these self-help seminars it's just nothing but men attractive yeah. women. homeless people i just told yeah. you <laughs> but man but <laughs> i'm letting you know they're attractive homeless people yeah. and i'll hate on them it's okay, baby. That's why I'm around women. I try not to talk about anything fucking serious. Like, and I don't even let them try to bait me into that shit. What do you talk about then? Bro, bro I'm like, we gonna talk about. His damn, hair. did your head Kiki get, Palmer? Did your head yeah. get bigger? <laughs> oh my god! Like, oh, oh, oh uh, who who did your nails? Oh shit! Don't do them like that. Uh, actually, don't do them at all. Actually, your they nails are horrible. They don't think like, you're gay after that. I, yeah, no, I never do. <laughs> and all, all I'm saying is this: Look, I, I try not to in. have <laughs> any serious conversations about anything serious with women because it's mm -hmm. just it's. I'm not gonna get any. I have more of a serious mm -hmm. conversation with you guys because it might actually get somewhere with some critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. Unless a woman is helping me with my business, that's the only time I'm ready to hear what she has to say. That's you, it. Like and they ladies, have some really have, like ladies at the table, have you ever used this word before? Vibe, vibing. Oh, sure. Or vibing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's oh. Your <laughs> Cali vibing. Board. For sure. You guys know what that is, right? That's yeah. been you know what that is? Yeah. It's yeah. nothing. I it's I nothing. It's not real. Oh my god. It's not a real thing. It's not real. It's just an illusion. It's not real. That's what I call when I'm like, I'm trying some new shrooms and I'm in the zen. I'm vibing. Have you guys ever felt like really positive energy from someone? Like you just feel like. Have you ever bought? Have you ever you guys ever felt that guy? before? Yeah. It's you not know. real. No. No. None of it's real. No. It's no. not. No. Humans do not emit energy. It's okay. psychology. Okay. Okay. It's, it's evolutionary right. psychology. That is actually not energy. where I was going to go you with this. You just told Santa wasn't real. Oh, my God. No. So, you guys, so, hold, hold, have you, you guys ever met a guy? Have you guys ever met a guy who was a Gemini, and he just you could just totally tell he was a Gemini? My bad. I let this genie out of the Have you ever done that? You guys meet him? He's like, oh, you can definitely tell us he's a Sagittarius. It's not real. None of it is real. None of of that shit is real. None of it. It is all hocus, hocum fucking fairy tale shit. Sorry. Go ahead. It is me okay. So it's not real, but it is metaphorically true, and I will tell you why. Because mm. saying you're vibing with somebody, you're feeling that kind of energy between the two. That's the term that women give yeah. when they're meeting a guy where they kind of have that mutual. They don't understand that they're picking up on peripheral and mutual cues. Their eyes are dilated. Their mm -hmm. cheeks are flayed. Women try to uh, imitate that with with makeup, makeup. right? Mm -hmm. um, so that vibing is actually some. It's actually a thing. It's just it's the name that you give right. to something when you're when you're when a man it's is speaking is speaking your emotional One language. Time, if you say hey. if you say yeah. vibing chemistry or energy as a metaphor cool. If right. you literally think that's what's going yes. on, yeah. are, you, yeah, are you read Dr. Joe Dispenza? Well, was actually going no, on. No, no, people actually pe pe say people, it's a vibe pe and pe they think it's vibrations pe yes, and energy. Yes, 100% they, they do. And people who follow Joe Dispenza okay. and believe that somehow there's some quantum mechanics can heal your spine. Right. Nonsense like this. Fucking <laughs> nonsense. If I say, if I say, if I say I'm out of energy, it uh, means like I need a cup of coffee or yeah. I need, I need, need some more sugars. I need more carbs or something like that. I'm out of energy. That doesn't mean that I'm like Yo, I need some like some magic, you know, <laughs> astral projecting, you know, energy I need source. To what y'all understand is like, what they're saying is one hundred percent true. <laughs> I remember, I remember, like me and my homie had snagged up these two ass baddies, bro, and we took them to catch over at Aria, and I was sitting down. <laughs> this goofy bitch asked me. She said, "What's your astrology sign?" <laughs> Now, most of the of times course. the bitch asks me that, I'd be like, um, a stop sign. Just mm -hmm. to let that bitch know, stop. You stole that joke. <laughs> stole You're joke. not original. Okay, that is not uh, today. Today. I got I got it. I got it. I got it. You stole that fucking joke. No, you no blast him. He stole that fucking joke. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. I'm gonna look that lyric. I'm gonna look up the meme right now. Continue. I'm gonna look it up. Here she goes. I'm gonna look it up. Now check this out. I told him to be nice to her. We sit there. I tell her I'm a Libra. I warned her. Okay. This bitch is a Libra too. And then, then, then when I'm trying to smash, she was like, Nah, I'm not going. Then I asked my homie. I said, Yo. 
Find out from her, girl, what was really going on. That bitch said because I'm a Libra. My point. That bitch That's said she was not going because I'm a Libra. That's why you talking about her? You stole a joke. Stop the gun. He wants it. 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 He wants You're going to get us violated. Hey, you're going to get us violated on YouTube. Turn it off, please. Turn it off, girl. I was going to say, the other. Because I stole the joke. That's why you want me to turn it off. You stole the joke. We all stole the joke. We all know. We all stole the joke. I'm going to show you me saying that in 2021. She's a comedian. Stop it. You weren't even born then, bro. You were young ass motherfucker. All right. Have you seen? Have you seen? There's a there's a guy that does this as part of his bit, and I don't know. He just pranks and stuff like that. But he'll go up and he'll ask these girls. It was like in Brickle, or they'll come like wherever hot girls are congregating. He'll go up and ask her, say, "What's your sign?" And she'll go, "Oh, I'm a Libra." Or whatever he goes, we would never. I would never. I would never. He just walks away. Because we are comedians. A guy asked me that today, and I was so surprised. It is the funniest shit. I've never had a guy ask me what my sign is. I was like, I have. I didn't know what to say for a minute. I was like. You know, oh, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Fellas, <laughs> fellas don't, don't get it twisted. If you want to use astrology to smash, go for it. I'm not uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't mean to say that part. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to crush your hopes and dreams. Oh, yeah. If as, they want to believe as, in as, numerology, as James, astrology, and but fucking quantum physics, it's a smash, that are go into for it. Like that. I don't know. Because it's more of an emotional thing, I feel okay, like. Okay, so ready? So you here's, know, here's the next thing. To be fair, can I say something about that? Just because me personally, I. Oh, okay. Do it, no. do it, like, please. Uh. Me personally, I do, I do believe in like astrology, but I, I read tarot. I like my tarot oh, cards, no. but it's just because okay, it, I got it, other does, questions. it does give me hope. It gives me hope okay. and guidance. It's okay. not something I believe in, and Keep I think that everybody, I, I, mm. Pokemon. it could be compared maybe to religion. Like it makes it, it gives is you a religion. A cause. It gives you okay. something to go by or it's to like. Called, it's called chick crack. That's yeah, what it is. a thousand percent. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's chick, chick crack. Just like people watch your podcast and think that they, it gives them hope to like one day mm. be a successful man and all that bullshit. Me personally, when I read tarot, I'm like, when they're telling me like you're gonna make money this week, I'm like, damn, maybe. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Except, except, it, it, except, except one hope. of those is grounded in reality, of course. and the other one is not. <laughs> no, well, However, like, what I was gonna say this is, it has to have tangible. There, okay, like, so yeah, it's, science science it's like it's like it. religion. Religion gives you hope. So placebo religion, effects are are effective, right? A I mean, percent. so that the, I've, I've said this. So there, most of the shit is just superstition, but there mm -hmm. is power in the belief. Yes. In that. Thing. Yes. So yes, that's why yes. when people say, "Well, you know, I've got my magic, you know, rabbit's foot or some shit like yeah. that," it really gives me hope and it gives me, you know, but the like, confidence, but yeah, it's the, from it's, it is real. It's the, yeah. it's the it's the gaslighting and convincing of you. It's, it's of not yourself. the name of a freaking yeah. thing. Hey. It's just that yeah. it's because now here's the thing. Now imagine you could do that and actually take that hope and those dreams and, and put them in something that's like functional and equipping you that's for like real life. Tangible. Boy, yeah. that would be great tangible. to get hope out of that. I'm wouldn't like it? I read tarot, thinking that one day I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my own podcast. And I'm really gonna move forward. Right. And I'm yeah, but you do have your own, you, hold on. You do have your own podcast because you work. That's my point. Because you work, but it's not because of tarot cards. Because but tarot got makes you know. But tarot gives you guidance to work. Now, you know, because if you guys, believe in if you guys goofy actually, stuff like this, I made a website. That basically tricks them and says you're always 100% compatible. Oh, so, right. I, I, yeah, literally that, that is website. why he's Busted. a millionaire. Oh but, 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 uh, uh, I mean, you know, let me hold before this. Do you believe in? Uh, let's astrology. see, astrology or tarot me. cards or anything supernatural like ghosts? Not really. I mean, I think that you have like a soul, right? Okay. And I think it either goes up or down. You know, I don't really think they get like what? stuck here. Mm -hmm. But I mean, astrology, some of the stuff they say, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. But I don't it's not something that I like. Plant, like, guide your life with. Yeah, like I, I don't ask people, I'm like, what's your sign? Okay. Yeah, because tarot, tarot doesn't tell you your future. It doesn't do stuff like that. When no, 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 rose, no, no, no. It actually rose. doesn't do anything. Yeah, it that's actually what it does. It functionally it does, does, do, nothing. It does nothing. There's, there's no. one, one thing is that it, so there's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. Uh, so when go. someone is saying. This woman is a pickup it's, coach it's, over here. No, no, it's, I know where she got this. It's, it's a God module. Keep going. So, yeah. But when some when someone's saying to you, like, hey, you know, you're going to have opportunity to make money or you're going to meet this guy, if that's at the forefront of your brain, like the human brain is processing billions of bits you're gonna attract per second. what you're we can't forget yes. on all of them so what you're thinking so about the ras zooms in to a specific 
like key things. Yeah. And so yeah, if somebody tells you like, hey, this is gonna happen, you're gonna look for you it in your day to day like, yeah. on a subconscious yeah. level, yeah. and it's gonna seem like magic. It's gonna seem like manifestation mm -hmm. or yeah. astrology. But it's huh, just the magician like, can tell you, I've used every tactic to pick up women, and <laughs> that shit this is what works. You, you can definitely trick what the were you saying, do, you, do you believe in any we, kind of supernatural stuff like uh, astrology, energy, <laughs> chakras? Really? I do you like believe in religion? Bra evil, Brazilian power about. crystals. <laughs> I believe in that, like, I believe there's, a, the, like, good and evil, but that's about, like, I don't really believe in, like, ghosts or, like, like, like if I can't see it and feel it and, like, mm -hmm. I don't know it's real, like, love, I, there's no proof that it's, I don't know, like, love is fake, well, maybe. It's an emotive state. Damn. Well, it is. I just like, threw love I, down the drain. I'm religious, it's not, but I don't believe in No, like the, I wouldn't say love like is fake, stuff. but like it only works as long as you work for it. Like you yeah. put in the work to oh. keep the love alive. It's, so so yeah. luck is actually Wait, dependent it's, on it's, effort. It's not right. It's, it's, not, not, right. Right. it's, it's not because of a soulmate. Gone, I'm making right. some no. It's making not because of a soulmate. That's crazy. Tiffany's looking at me sideways. She believes in astrology. If the interest in gone because someone got fat and stopped trying, the love is dead. Like whatever you call love, is if the interest in the attraction is gone, the love is dead too. There's no love. It's just Tiffany, you put the work in to get it, or it don't exist. Tiffany, any enneagrams, right? You know, you know no. what the, the ghost thing. I, I believe in ghosts. Like right. what? And yeah, I got a story. I got a story. Really? Oh, no. Okay. No, no. Literally, I, I never believed in ghosts. I'm like, you know what? No. I, I'm ghost curious buffers, about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell aliens, you. I, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I stayed in London for some time, <laughs> and oh where I was staying, um, the building was built on top of um, it was uh, an ancient Indian burial no. ground and. It, well, no, it used to be actually a cemetery, but they built an insane asylum on top of it. So Whoa. they housed all these mentally sick patients. Mm. Well, there was a fire and it killed 90% of the mentally ill patients. Mm. Mm. So and then they built a hotel? No. Why the fuck not? They built an apartment <laughs> building. An apartment <laughs> building. So there's Everyone's an apartment building. Here to okay. see You'll smell sulfur. Lights will, lights will go on. It smells sulfur. It smells like rotten eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you smelt that sulfur, the light went on. Mm. In the city of London, they actually have a paranormal number you can actually call and report this shit. And they're, you know, me and my roommate were looking for her, like, no, let's let's call it. Really? And they're like, what? yeah, they've already I reported because it's all the mentally ill patients that died in this building. I'm convinced what? that black people never if see anyone. Anyone's gonna be no, 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 what? what? Wait, 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 wait. Angry wait, that wait. they couldn't have it too? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no. Or they were really Damn. religious and they thought he was a, it was a sin because my roommate was kind of a whore. He I would dig into it. He had so many different chicks. Like, like, like he, he had more on. chicks than he yeah. changed his underwear. Why I Damn. smell so not. Gemma, yeah. do you believe? I believe Are you a believer? I do like to like read my star sign and like what it's saying oh, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I would never oh. ask someone else <laughs> what their. <laughs> okay, you never I, ask that. I never ask someone else what their star sign is. I don't really care what anyone else's star sign is. I think it's is, interesting but I do concept like to and read stuff. No, no, I just don't think super, it really affects super, anything. Super, super interesting concept. We did not have a scientific. I just don't think it really affects well, anything. Tw 20, real, like twenty five hundred years ago, when we came up with those zodiacs. And by the way, you'll notice that when I'm it's, hundred percent a Sagittarius. When you're a Libra, <laughs> well, no, when you're a, when you're a Libra. <laughs> And you go look Just in the sky, you'll everything. notice that the sun is in Sagittarius because the earth has processed in 2,500 years, 15 degrees. So the signs are even wrong now. That's the first I've thing. I've heard that. Yeah, that's, for, for, that's the first thing yeah, that's so ridiculous yeah. about it. Oh but, but secondly, it is interesting. Gosh, but you know what else was interesting when I was growing up? <laughs> The well, ultimate yes, warrior, the, the, ulti <laughs> the ultimate warrior versus <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Yes. The <laughs> ultimate warrior versus Hulk Hogan. You want to know what's interesting? It was so cool to watch them fight, but I knew it was fake because they were swapping wives and buying steroids from the same guy. They didn't <laughs> really hate each other. I knew it was. Game of Thrones is interesting, That's but I know cheating. it's fake. And so is astrology. Mm. It's yeah, completely fake. Steroids fake. is but cheating. Entertainment. Hold on, Stephanie has to sing us, sing us out. Oh, piano absolutely cat. not. I don't believe in anything like that. I'm very black and white. So yeah, definitely not. What I mean, do you it's, believe in? It's I believe in me. Remember what I said? Damn! I was like, <laughs> this shit was gangster. She looked at me and said, "I believe in me." Yeah, <laughs> I told him. I told him earlier. I was like, "I am God. I am Kanye." So that's what I believe in. I am Ooh, me. I believe girl. in me. <laughs> How much does the Earth cost? I want to buy the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I was going to say, it's like, and you probably heard this. I don't know if I read this quote to you, but I forget. Is it Heinlein or, or Asimov who was saying that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic? Yeah. So anything mm. we don't understand, we try to apply magic to it so it helps our brains understand, yeah, right? Exactly. So if we, don't, if we don't understand why our lives are shit, we'll go, well, let's go check out the tarot cards and see what's coming next, well, right? The Native or, Americans thought well, guns were magic I, mm -hmm. back we? in the day. And... Um, like back in uh, dark ages, they call it, I guess, mm -hmm. when someone had like a sickness or certain diseases, like mental Ill illness and stuff, they were obsessed with evil spirits yes, and they needed not. an yeah. exorcism. Mm -hmm. Like it's just until as we, we find a, until we find a way to an explain explanation. It, yes. Yeah. So that's that's what um, that's what. So then what's the difference between with with religion? Well, here's the difference is, is that, and I, I actually wrote about this in my fourth book, is mm -hmm. that when we're talking about the metaphysical and the physical, if you can explain sort of something metaphysically by saying, okay, we, we, it's the stars or it's the sun or it's the tarot cards, not in the cards or in the runes or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, when we, we're trying to figure something out that we don't really have the knowledge to, we'll apply magic to it. We'll apply superstition. It must be, there must be something that's beyond our senses to see, smell, hear, taste, touch, because remember, we're limited to our, to our senses our senses. Mm -hmm. So the other part of this is that when we have figured something out, when we, you know what, it's not really the sun gods, it's because the sun goes around the earth or it's because, you know, we, we can figure out the physical process of it. What we do is we take it from the metaf metaphysical, metaphorical uh, like realm and we put it into like, this is how things work. It's no longer magic anymore. We, it's no longer based on faith anymore. So are there always going to be things that we're going to say, okay, this is really truly about like something that's supernatural that we don't simply understand? Or is it something like, say for instance, like most religions have a proscription against like eating certain foods, right? You yeah. can't eat you can't eat pork. You can't eat shellfish if you're if you're Muslim or you're a Jew, right? Because the Lord said here in Allah or Yahweh, or whatever, uh, said Somewhere that you're said, not supposed yeah. to you're not supposed to eat these. Well, there's a function to that, which is if you ate uncured pork back then, you probably get trichinosis and you'll probably die. Yeah. Right? Right, so it's better a form of control. metaphorically speaking. They didn't have pasteurized yeah. milk. Well, they, met metaphorically they speaking, didn't have the scientific method. The the That's metaphorical truth that. is don't eat this hooved animals or shellfish or whatever because the Lord said so. Well, the function of that is we don't want our people to die, right. you know, so we're going to tell it, okay, well, everybody, the Lord said, don't eat that freaking animal because you're going to die, right? Well, now we know that if you, uh, bacon is fucking good, really you know, good. like, I mean, like, oh, yeah. if you I cure it for, you know, bacon. it's fucking Give great, man. You have, and so what, you know, Christians have like, you know, ham for Easter dinner, right? So, so the so difference is awesome. belief. And control? Well, it's what, what it is, is that you've taken something that used to be based on faith, which is like, well, don't eat this particular animal. And you go, oh, we can eat it now because now it's kosher. All right. You know, we can have the we can have it. And just a rabbi on the os over the freaking pig and you can <laughs> eat the pig now. Right. So we'll think of some new metaphysical, mythological way of, of like explaining why what we were talking about before, like the don't eat the, the pig mm -hmm. is it, now it's okay, so we'll explain it to ourselves. We it. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but the, 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 long, the the real objective empirical truth is that it's okay to eat a, a cured pig because it tastes freaking good. Times right? have changed. Yeah, well, yeah. and so what you but what you've done effectively that is you've taken something sense. out of the realm of faith, which used to be like something you would read in the Torah or the Quran or the Bible, yeah. whatever, and. Now you've said, okay, well, we can, act, we're, we're, it's, co it's kosher. You can, eat, you can eat beef, right? Or you can eat you know, a hot dog, <laughs> Hebrew national hot dogs, and you're good, right? <laughs> um, so good. But, and they are good. Uh, <laughs> but, so but the thing is, is that you, now that we've taken it from the, the realm of faith and put it into, like, we've explained it, it's no longer something that's an article of faith. So if, like, for instance, when people say, oh, I, I'm into tarot cards or I, I believe in astrology and stuff, that's really you just, you're having this emotional need to explain shit that's but going that's on in your life. But religion because people mm -hmm. feel like they have to pray to God just mm -hmm. like we go well, to tarot. Well, it closes up an mm -hmm. open end or a dead end, I guess. That I think it's, I, it's, it's what's just in your mind. It's a form of control. Well, religion is just a form of control, and they even make laws of it. They, even, a, they make laws based on religion to control there's people. A, there's, there's two different So how is it the difference between control and then something you believe in? Well, it's, it something has a, it that does, you believe it has, in is still God who's it has fake. A, it has a function, okay? So it's one thing to say, oh, they got control. They can do whatever they want to. But how about if that control is saving your life by not eating uncured pork way back in 
in the day that would or have or how, how you. about it that if that is um, but that's saving that's your, your life. That's the only by argument it. you have, though. No, no, no there's, saying, there's several other. No. How about that, well, that's no. what I'm asking. She's trying to be Eve. She's trying to be Eve right now. So listen, she want to bite. You want to bite from the. She's Lilith. That's too much. Literally cannot stand him. It's so annoying. No, no, I'll I'll explain. You're shedding. There's there's two there's two there's two different there's two different explanations. The first one is and I I go into I go into this in my book is the difference between metaphorical truth and actual objective truth. So Mm. metaphorical truth is uh, you probably maybe you've heard this or not, but like uh, porcupines can shoot their quills. So stay the fuck away from porcupine. Porcupines cannot actually (laughs) shoot their porcupine quills, but it's best. It's best if we tell people that they can. So you stay the hell away from the porcupine because it fucking hurts. And then they release it into you once it it touches you. In general, all of us are afraid of most humans are afraid of snakes the first time they see them. And most snakes are not poisonous, but 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 it's better to assume that they they are. are, Right. Metaphorical truth is that all snakes are poisonous. The metaphorical truth is that that uh, porcupines can shoot their quills. They cannot. The objective truth is no, they can't. But it is better for us all to Correct. believe that they can, so you don't get a porcupine. It's quill. an error of omission versus commission. You guys yeah. ever been in the Willis Tower, the observation deck of the Sears, the old Sears Tower? It's thirteen hundred feet. Yeah. You can go out in this glass area and you can look straight down. You're standing on glass, bro. Your butthole pu- puckers up the first time. You're, you're looking <laughs> down. It's like holy shit. It is irrational for me to be afraid. If I ran mm-hmm. full speed, had a shotgun, and drop kicked that window, it wouldn't come out. That thing is like fucking four inches thick of just hard plastic. Is that comparable to the Space Needle? in Seattle? Uh, it is taller than the Space Needle in Seattle. Okay, because I've yeah. been to the Space Needle, so I'm just yeah, like, space trying Yeah, Space Needle is like 1,100 feet. The stratosphere is taller. I think stratosphere so is 1,300. You know, oh, you're talking about the stratosphere. I've been on that, too. Yeah, if you want to well, know why like chick crack was a thing for the early pickup artists is because that was one of the first things that they picked up on when they were out there like doing the field work and they were interrelating with women. They always wanted to have, talk about like Eastern philosophies or chakras or ayahuasca or tarot cards or astrology or whatever and go with it. It's because it's an open door. Well, because because Killer, women right? more than women more than men tend to believe in with like you know with validity um, the the veracity of, uh, of astrology or some sort of superstition and so uh, they did what, what Jabrizi does which is like hey man I'll just go with that I'm gonna sp- I'm gonna speak your language oh you're a Libra I'm a Libra too how awesome is that <laughs> we ain't gonna make don't it, fight it. Right? the thing but, is don't fight it don't so, fight it so don't but, fight the but, but oh great don't fight it and yeah, the, re- sure. the reason for that is because throughout throughout human history, women have been the vulnerable sex, and so they're always looking for some sort of supernatural power mm-hmm. because their power, their, their, you know, how they exercise their agency is through um, covert means. So if I can convince this motherfucker that I'm the Oracle of Delphi and the gods speak to me, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to read the bones or the chicken entrails, and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, that's a form of control over the men who, up until like 1965, were really pretty much controlling this. They had the physical force to enforce whatever the, the power that they had. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the reasons why women tend to believe in uh, in ghosts and, and, and uh, more, more women are religious than men are actually religious. And uh, then there's like, you know, the spiritual stuff, the Eastern religious stuff, the chakras and all that other crap. Mm-hmm. So, uh, again, it's this this want for that belief. And you were saying it gives me hope. Yeah, of course it does, yeah. because it's it's something that sort of makes you hopeful about something. I don't know whether you earnestly believe in this stuff, but I don't believe in it. So I, but it gives you know, me hope because it's good messages that they give. Yeah. Indeed. And the only thing that is real is UFOs and aliens have actually come to Earth. See, I and believe they are here yeah, right now and they're watching us as, as we speak. <laughs> no, but yes. I nothing burger. I don't care what this nothing burger. Just, just watching us, Rolo. I think I don't believe in aliens. None of that's real. I think, I think they're it. laughing oh, at us. Even aliens. I find I that I, fi- I find I find I find the, the idea that alien life has come to this earth and has vi- has vid- visited us more realistic than like any ghosts or yeah, tarot cards yeah. or anything like I that. I totally think we're just ant farms to aliens. Like yeah, we're just like totally. a little planet and like they're just watching us do weird shit. Yes. <laughs> do we try to contact the bugs? No. Why would they try to contact? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. I think they're laughing at us. I think aliens like haven't really like shown themselves here because they were fucking idiots. So they probably just drive <laughs> by. Yeah, they just percent. drive by us like like. Like we're like, you know, Captain Michael Sartain, like, why haven't like the aliens <laughs> visited us? Ready? The Here closest star to Earth is Proxima Centauri. It is 4.1 light years away. That is 26 
trillion fucking miles. There are no <laughs> aliens here. There have never been but aliens who's here. To say that there will never be aliens here. Take that. Because mass can mass cannot travel at anywhere near the speed of light. On Earth? No, how, not who's on to Earth. Say that they don't at have any that place. Over there? How do you Beca know that? Ready? Here we how go. How do you know that? Because of cosmology, we can see the uniformity and the homogeneity of all galaxies all Says across the Earth universe. Earth only? We can Says see. Says Earth people stop. only? We can. Says Earth people only? One more time. <laughs> Alana, we can can see huh. other places just because how do you I, see it we can speak through telescopes we know they exist I think stop, they stop, exist, but I don't through think spectroscopy been here. parallax and uh -huh. understanding the law of gravity we can see that the same laws the Thanks. same physical Gravity's laws only on earth no what it, no, no it's not no, 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 no. But, i don't think but, we're no, the no, only no, beings not. in the galaxy but no, 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 no. you're right there's plenty of other aliens they're never gonna get here they're never gonna get here if they have been here we would know beyond a doubt planets if gravity's different on different planets how would it be different in a different galaxy the law of gravity is the same same. The gravity on the planet Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared. It's one sixth of that on the Moon, and it's 38 percent of that on Mars. That's but gravity is still gravity. So As, how is? How do you know what gravity is in another universe? Because you can in see. Another galaxy, because you can. In another galaxy. Because you can look at the galaxy and you can see the mass of the galaxy and the rotational period, and you can see. Guess what? Newton was right there. Also, gravity because works exactly the same they, as Andromeda where as they it does migrate here. And where it's exactly they, now. Here's the thing. Very close-minded to we, say we that can, you know we, everything we can, about the entire galaxy. No, no, we don't. We don't. We don't know what it done really well on the flat Earth. We don't. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know everything, but we do. We do know what's in the periodic table, and when we look at other galaxies, we can the see. The periodic table is we, only for. Earth. Why do you keep saying that? It's not for Earth. It's what not is it the periodic no, table. Because it hasn't just done the periodic other, table of no elements. Ele there's it's, no other it's elements. No, no, there are any other galaxies. There are other elements. There are other, there are other elements, My but point. all those stars are made of hydrogen. Everywhere in every galaxy, I because we can that. use, because we can use. Did you this go is so and hold get it? Stop! 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 Once <laughs> and for all, because I've had to do this I twice. The stop! Beast. Stop! I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna settle this once and for all. If I take a volume of gas, shine a you fucking don't have light. To yell that stop! Out. I do oh, because this is the fifth time I've had to do this. If I take a volume <laughs> of gas and shine a light through it, and I have a receiver, I can see on what wavelength that gas r r emits, and through that, I can tell with 100% certainty what elements that gas is made out of. I know you didn't understand that, or you've never heard of it before. It's called spectroscopy. I understood we do. that motherfucking okay, thing. Well, what well, the fuck was that about? No, no, I'm saying you've never, you <laughs> probably never, that. you've never heard of spectroscopy because you keep asking the question, how do we know what the stars are made of? We know with absolute certainty exactly what the stars are made of, and it gets even crazier. When planets pass in front of the stars, we can use spectroscopy to see what the atmosphere of those planets are made of, and we can see methane, oxygen, carbon dioxide. Because spectroscopy, we can see what wavelength those things emit. Now, because of that, and because we can see how gravity works, and because we can see the uniformity and homogeneity of all of the universe, we know the laws of physics work all universe in every has a one of the galaxies. In astrophysics. That's the reason, so? and it's so hard because people are like, "No," because if that's true, then that means aliens didn't come here. You're right; they didn't. Because of relativity, we know they didn't come here. They can't move fast enough. It would take them 400 years to get here at one percent the speed so of light. So, what if they live a thousand? If they, because and they paid enough money to get here. Michael, I have two words. For, I got two. I got two words for you, Michael. Proto molecule. Proto molecule. That's how they Correct. get. That's how they got here. I, I, just, Bro, I, I hope that every man sits here and understands that women's Wait, logic is all off. She it's had a always question. She had a question. Yes. And we have, and we have two super question. chats. Go ahead. I, I had a question for Rolo though. There you go. When these aliens go past Earth, do you think they lock their doors? <laughs> They're only here for our this weed is and our beer. Ghetto here. Look. All right, go Earth ahead. Uh, we ghetto. got super, super chats go. <laughs> Rock and roll. Okay, so Coco's got, on the Coco's on the uh, on the mic. We got a Canadian five dollar super chat from Flat Earth near. It says instead of working at building some other guy's legacy, why not help your man to build his? Any word on the debate with? I think it's Witsit. Yeah, Witsit and I were uh, mm -hmm. going to do a debate in November. Unfortunately, I'm going to be hosting Swimsuit USA's World Championship while they're doing their debate-a-thon in is. Dallas. So maybe after the middle, I'll be with them, so the I will not be able to answer that either. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do it. But yeah, I definitely want to uh, do a debate with Witsit. I, I do feel like the thing that the Flat Earthers need to understand is that all the Flat Earthers I debate make money off debating me, and I make no money from being a Glober <laughs> doing that. So I, I just want to point that out. Like They get content. Glober. My audience doesn't give a fuck it. about Flat Earth content. I just have a degree. Fucking I just study Glover. physics. So while it's easy for them to do it, I have to study for each one of these, and it takes like time out of my day. So eventually, I will get to to Witsit. Okay, fire it up. Um, we got a 1999 super chat from Joe Hall. I'm so confused. Started watching the chat, and what is this topic? 
Okay, yeah, awesome. Sounds good. Lots, right, lots of different you. topics. Go back and rewind. Yeah, that's good, it. That's, yeah, that's, light up that another, <laughs> smoke another bowl, dude. Incre- incredible how you can rewind Be with specific, last chance. Be specific, guy. From Glenn Lawrence, 499. Do these women oh, consider God. themselves high-value women? Yeah. We already asked. No, yes. I'm very low I don't quality. think we asked. I don't think we, like, yeah, we weren't you, asked ourselves. Oh, okay. But, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, we can go around. Do you consider yourself a high-value woman? Yes. Okay. I feel like I am. Skip. Oh. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, when it comes to my job, no. But when it comes to at home in a relationship, when I'm in a relationship, yes, because I like to help build my man. I like to clean for my man. I like to cook for my man. Like, me, high value. Value is, added. It's value added. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm at a value. Got a little bit high mileage, but I think I'm at it. Like there's <laughs> definitely, not the time, it's the mileage. No, no idea, no idea what you're talking about. And, like improve on, but I feel like I do like a lot for my my man. No, I feel like no I'm very supportive. Being perfect. Yeah, I'm not a no, unicorn. Like he said, they don't exist. But like, I genuinely try to be that. Like my my boyfriend told me one time, he was like, I don't like you going to strip clubs unless we're together and doing it, and and I agree. So I don't. You don't Wait, go to strip clubs like by that. yourself anymore. Oh, so, yeah, that's okay, what I'm like, all right. That was a big one. I got or, that. Or even with like girlfriends that I, I trust. That or like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, by my definition, I'm technically now single. I just got out of a, a four year relationship there recently. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Single hey. makes you a high value woman. Did no, you have I'm a saying by say my that. definition, I'm not because my definition was you land a high value oh. man. So technically, by my own definition, I'm not. Hey, you want you want a sweater for these streets? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll take one. I'll take one. I am very low quality. No, you no. Listen, you got a really funny I podcast. You're really funny. I disagree. I would say I'm not valuable. I do. I disagree with you, Tony. I'm like I cuss my guy out. I hate them. I, really? Oh yeah. I'm very. Oh, I'm good, ready to cuss him out. I'm just like that. I'm not a whore. I used like to you. be retired whore. That's why I'm low quality. I'm like, I'm really low retired. quality. Uh, and like now I'm just I, I just I know what I am and I know what I, I know what I bring to the table. But you table. have qualities I don't have. I have. And like we have. I feel like we all have. Like, no, how do you... I, I feel like I have great qualities, but in a relationship, <laughs> I am horrible. She knows she's toxic. I'm very toxic. I'm, I'm Fair. like, like Fair. I'm, I'm the masculine. Oh, I'm very toxic. So no. I love you for saying that. <laughs> accountability. Let's let's normalize I'm very it. Very accountable about my actions. Yes, yes. Um, I think I'm a high value woman. I'm loyal. I'm caring. I can provide. I keep a nice family home. And I'm sexy as well. So Looks think, good doing it. God yeah. damn. <laughs> I think for what I value, I live You're my values. So. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Me? I definitely think I'm a high value woman. <laughs> you <And> are. <laughs> I'm just watching his face. You it's are. funny because. I did that all, y'all. It's because you, <laughs> no, no. I'm just funny watching because you said no. that high value women don't exist. And you're, oh, I didn't say. No, no, no. But you said. No, 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 no. I think it was sometimes said, you said uh, uh, specific to like the, a certain type of woman didn't exist, not the high value one. I, I still don't think that should exist. No, yeah, that's you what you said. Yeah, that's what you just said it again. But yeah. then when you <laughs> described your version of a high value woman, you said like doesn't go to the clubs. There's a lot of actual women I know. I don't know about America, but in Australia, I know a lot of women that. Yeah. Don't, don't go, go to, to the clubs. clubs. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. actually a lot of I have of a us. lot of girlfriends oh, yeah. who won't. Wait, I got you. Wait. Straight up. And, 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 like and, and, and if you're in a relationship, why are you going to the nightclub? But I won't go to a strip club Because everyone at the nightclub just wants to do it anymore. One at a time. One at a time. Go ahead. Anymore. To you. All right. Question. Yes. You said they don't go to the club. Yes. Do they post on their Instagram like it's a free OnlyFans? No. They don't. No, every I mean, why why that's basically free Instagram samples. Is. Yeah, yes. that's the fr- fucking free sample. So you're saying they're not in bikini pics, you're not posting their ass. They don't always have to spin around and take a picture of their ass. Adver- and their advertising. Not yeah. always, but then this it also America. comes back yeah. to not everyone posts on social media yeah. for men. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of females that post for females. They don't. Like post fashion content and stuff for females. Right. Like, sorry, but. Like, for females. So these, these hoes trying to become famous with other hoes. Yeah. 
Like when you're posting fashion content, you're posting because like I see what she's saying. First of all, most women don't really know fashion. Let's begin. Like you guys think like dressing like a slut is fashion. No, that's that is not fashion. It's not style. I haven't met a woman who's really designed something I'm like really amazed by. Far few and in between. I actually know who those women are. The women who are designing the shoes and stuff like that. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. What what would they be dressing like if they weren't? Dressing like a slut. Oh so like, my god! Yeah, I was like, about what to would ask it you look, like, what would it look like? So you get like turned like? on by like showing. Would it be like that like, Amish, like the like, 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 Amish girls? Like, like, they have a hijab and an apron on. Is that what they want? Well, with girls in her case, she hella thick, 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 thick. Like she can never hide anything. So you are gonna see that if she was wearing a hijab or anything. I've seen that before. I was like, God damn! I can still see it even with the fucking hijab on. If I'm out with my Man, though, I'll dress a little bit more like sexier if we're together because people know we're uh -huh. together. But if I'm not with him, I try to be a little more conservative. But why would you bring all that attention to your man though while he's with you? Why not? Because while we're so, together, it's, it's ego. Why do you need all that attention? I think it's good because for he likes it when he's yeah. with the hottest girl. Like, right. Okay. Well, I'm low key. He said, I like, like everything pretty low key. So, yeah. you, you and me, don't, nothing about you is not low key. Because I don't want no. <laughs> you were the loudest <laughs> one in this entire <laughs> podcast, so you dress <laughs> like this, and you're okay, low but key. Also, also Shut you up. consider because a woman. I'm a designer too. I also so design what? Fashion. You're not low key. All right, all right. You're not low key. I'm kind of. All right, all right. You're low key about your occupation. I'm still low key about that either. I am the person who designed. Um, oh, the keyboard necktie. I was gonna say something, but <laughs> that's actually something that you said we couldn't Keep say. Wait, so I still want to know how yeah. you like expect women to dress. Oh, got you. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was, Number one, was cover you. that shit up. Cover them titties up. Cover that ass up. God <laughs> damn. Especially if you got a lot of it. I disagree. I think they should stay out because that contributes to human happiness. Uh, it does. I agree. Yeah. I'm, not I'm a girl. Well, number one, right. number one, I'm a holler at a chick too. Is she got titties out? Or not I gotta titties. be honest with you. When I'm in a relationship, I don't mind if everyone's a slut. It doesn't make any difference to me at all. Michael wins at the end of the day. As long as, right. as my girl is being good to me, like I love being in a hot tub in Jamaica, and all these girls act like hoes. I don't exactly. care. Yeah, like my boyfriend so loves sorry, it when I, I, I look hot. Like when I'm not with him, right. it's you know not saying? when I'm single. When I'm single, I want the world to change. What I'm saying is, cover that shit up. That's all I'm saying, baby. Just I say, cover that shit up. If you cover I think the same thing with your mouth. No, no, yes. no, I love her boobs. No, yes, yes we Stephanie. Love the view. We love Stephanie, the view. that's Think terrible. That. <laughs> Cover that up. Um, Stephanie, that's Stephanie. Sorry, Stephanie. Sorry, guys. Stephanie. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Stephanie. Sorry to offend you. Stephanie. Stephanie. You gotta, Stephanie. You gotta, if a girl Stephanie. gotta cover up, then you gotta Stephanie, cover up your don't mouth. Don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible that you wear that, Stephanie. Do what he says and cover that up. That's terrible. He says cover it up, but you've been staring at her the entire time she's been here. And all you've been talking and about is talking about you've been hitting you on her. her. I've been catching those eyes at them titties a couple He's times. Stop the cat. Stephanie, Stephanie, I didn't even no. notice you had boobs. I had no idea. I didn't even see <laughs> that shit. Actually, actually, there was one thing my dad Go once ahead. said to me, and I hold it, I think it's very true. It's not what you wear, it's how you, how you wear, wear it. Mm. It's how you it's how you hold it's, yourself it's, it's in It's not what you wear, it's how much you charge on OnlyFans. It's not what you wear. It's whether or not it's three dollars for thirty one <laughs> days on OnlyFans. <laughs> Hi, wait, I got I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question for you. Hold on a second. Okay. How much should I have been staring at her when she's behind me? Hold up, let me ask Stephanie this question. How much did your boobs cost? That shit was expensive. I don't know. I got them done when I was really young, when I was 21. So, um, and then I had Ballpark? To, uh, In U.S. dollars? Oh, oh okay. Because uh, our money's really bad at the moment. So We, like, lose half our 15 money. 15 and a half grand when I was 20. Grand? Where are you yeah. from? Uh, Australia. Lana, how oh, much okay. How much did your, I your boobs cost? Seven, I just to seven grand? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Uh, who else has boobs? All organic. How much did your boobs cost? Hey, Amy, Amy, how much did yours cost, Amy? <laughs> Itty bitty titty committee. Amy, how much was <laughs> there? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. <laughs> your stock. What, yeah. How much is your were yours? So actually, when I got mine done, I was not old enough to get um, silicone. So I had to get saline. Mine were fifty three hundred. Mm -hmm. Fifty three hundred. My boyfriend always tells me mine saved him five grand. <laughs> well, no. The reason <laughs> I say like, is like my girlfriend would have to have him. Like if, if, you, so. if you spent <laughs> seventeen <laughs> grand on your booze, 
You're gonna show those fucking boobs off, okay? Exactly. I mean, that's like you, you want a fucking Maserati. Okay. You're gonna all, show the Maserati. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, look at the guys on steroids. Dresser. Do you know how much like Tremolo costs? It's expensive. Of course, I, you're gonna I show it off. I don't know anything third. about that. I didn't say Stop I it. Anavar is not fuck. cheap. I, 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 I didn't say I wouldn't fuck a bitch with her titties out. I'm still a nigga. You're a woman. You want her to only be your slut. Put them titties away. We don't need to be showing these things around. But if that's what Attracted you to I'm her? Why would you make her hide them afterwards? I'm Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, cities. I'm gonna make one exception. I like, other, I like other girls to stare at my girlfriend. Yeah, that's, that's I like because other girls to stare that's at my because every man yeah. wants a slut. He just wants her to be. His his right, let's, let's and I guess we don't have we're, that we're, much longer. Yeah, so. We don't have much time, but we got one more thing. Go. Uh, so you want to do you you build it? You, red, red, give me the build up. Okay, so let me look at your thing here. Uh, one second. Uh, you're not okay. gonna, we're gonna play a food. fun game. Ready? We've done this before. It's it's very popular. All right. Here what go. we're gonna do is you ladies, you're gonna pick up. You're gonna pick the demographics of your perfect man. And then we're going to tell you, according to the U.S. Census data, how oh, likely it, it is for you to find your perfect man. And we're going to have you guess to see. Don't peek. Okay? Ready. First off, we're going to ask you for an age range. Between well, what age would, would you like uh, your perfect man? Are we going across the table? Everybody picks one? Everyone's yeah, we're going to do one. a mean average. Well, we're going to do a mean before average. already. All right. Well, go ahead. What do you think? Okay. Uh, let's say... <laughs> 25 to... We'll, we'll go a little broad. We'll go 25 to 33. Okay. What do you think? Um, 35 to 60. 60. Oh, man. Let's do 25, yeah, let's there do goes 25 the to 40. Okay, okay, what do you want? I'll say 33 to 45. Why did you 45? change yours to 40? No, 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 because there's two numbers. He's, he's fucking, fucking, fucking up the algorithm. algorithm. Okay, no, no, if you guys keep going higher, then I'll keep going higher. Keep going. I'd say like 33 to about 45, 50. All right, so let's say, let's say, let's say 25 to, to 50. 50. Go ahead. Got Probably it. 30 to 40. 34, 34, 34, still in the range, okay. Lana? I would say 30 to 40. Okay. Same range. What do you think? Steph? Uh, 35 to 45. Okay. Okay, still in range. Um, 22 to 30. Okay. 22 to 30. 25, 25, 25, 25 to 50. 30 or 60. Okay, okay, guys. <laughs> ladies, who here would date a man who is married? Baby. You would date a man yeah, who is married. Would you date you want him to be married unmarried? Married. No. Exclude married. I, I would date him if he had been married, but not while he's married. He's I currently married. I won't fuck so, with other girls, guys. I would date a Anybody want to be a homewrecker? No. Right, cool. Okay. No. Put that. All right, here yeah, we go. Yeah, this bitch right. down here wants to. And, like, uh, and if he puts me in that position, I will never speak to him again. Okay, ready? Here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to ask the question. You don't have to say which race, but which one of you would only date a particular race? You don't have to say which race. Anyone raise your hand. No, you would, well, you would only date one particular race? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna meet, you're going to meet Nick Fuentes here pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's go any a color, any color or shade. Okay, we'll do that we'll just do for any. this because yeah. it g gets complicated. Now, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Love this Clinch one. your teeth and 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 uh, squeeze your butthole. <laughs> Minimum height. How Six tall five. does he have to be? Six, Six feet tall. Go ahead. Just taller than me. Yeah. How tall are you? How tall are you? Five six. Five six. Five seven. Go ahead. I would say five ten at the short. Five ten. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Five eight. Five eight. Five six. He needs to be five six and above. Lord, y'all all lying. Five, with this five six. You would date shit. a guy who's five six. I okay, dated dudes five six. Okay, I'm just, just just asking. Ain't lying, staying around. Steph. <laughs> at least the same. <laughs> okay, so here's the point. Feet. I told you. I don't. I'm, I don't know feet. So <sighs> hundred and. She wants somebody six three. Same, okay, I'm gonna change that to taller than me in heels. So five ten. Keep five. going. Got it. What do you want? I'm at least like six foot. Six foot. Six so let's do five ten. Five ten. Okay. That's a five, five ten. ten. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, do, who here, ladies? You're cool if he's obese, or you don't want him to be obese? Definitely not. Definitely. Right. definitely. Go to the gym. I definitely obese. prefer. But I thought like, Holy shit! Go to the gym obese. and work oh out. Cool. I do. You ladies, you, you ladies, you ladies, you ladies, I work out. Same. You better too. You ladies, <laughs> you ladies don't want guys who are married, and you don't want the guys who are obese. You have totally fucked yourself. Keep right. going. Click, click, click that. Hey, but before before I click this checkbox, I just wouldn't want to let the record show that you guys were the ones who told me I just he's just got to be funny and nice. And everything, it doesn't matter what I he like looks funny. like. Okay, minimum hey, income. I'm being coerced minimum into income. <laughs> minimum <laughs> income. Oh, yeah, skip. here it is. Skip. No, no, we no, can't no. skip. Come on. We're talking Robert Kiyosaki money. Uh, 115. 150. 15? 15? 150. 150. 150. Um, 100,000 because 
I mean, we can okay. build. Keep going. You know, we what can do you want? Okay, okay wait, we can build a hundred minimum. About one hundred twenty thousand. One hundred twenty. Keep going. Say one fifty. One fifty. Keep going. What do you think? Live on a hundred thousand a year nowadays. Huh? Just as a job. He could be. He could be a sandwich artist at Subway. Yes, if he has a fucking job, right? I'm okay. Go ahead. He could be so, a barista. Minimum. Yes. Right? Yeah. He could be a bar back at the club. That's, that's fair. After you said you were 70. terrible at a relationship, yeah. you're like, just, I don't think it bothers Have a job. I'm really cool about like let's, my. Let's average that to 120. How about that? Because we had a couple of hundred Ks. Yeah, so we do 120. Wait, what did these two say? She said it doesn't matter, and he. She. What'd you say? Oh. Okay. I said it doesn't matter. Matter. And she said it just as long Ooh. as she has vibe and good energy. I think where you live. We've, we've, really done, this, we've done this several done times. This. I need okay. you to not look this direction. Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. Ladies, the likelihood of you meeting your man. Your man it makes $120,000 a year. He is at least 5'10". He is not obese. He can be any race or shade. He is between the ages of 25 and 45. Remember, and he's 5'10". He's and he's not married and he's not obese. What is the percentage of men do you think that, 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 uh, that would be? Not a lot. What, what do you think? Take a guess. Like 20. 20%? What do mm -hmm. you think? I don't know. Like, I seem to do all right, but 10%. 10%. <laughs> what do you think? 1%. 1%. What do you think? 1%. What do you think? 12. 12%. I've done this before. Okay, don't do it. What do you think? I'm gonna say I'm not looking. I'm gonna say twenty, just because Tw just because I think the I average really height. Mean. I think the average height for a guy is five yeah. seven. I think it was ready. Five okay, five. so you said twenty. When you said twenty, thirty percent. The it, it for not married, any race, five foot ten, not obese, earning one hundred twenty thousand years. It is point. Five three percent. It is five? one half wow. of one percent wow. of men uh, fall into that category. Damn, ladies, we fuck. Seventy percent, uh, like seventy-five percent of men are obese. The, you ladies, five foot ten is the average height for a guy in the in the country. The top, the average. In America, though. In the United States, oh. the yeah, average. Yeah, people in Australia. It's been a little while since I did yeah. this, but what is the yeah, average? Of course, agree, really agree. And yeah. obviously, the women yeah. are better. Oh, you just said <laughs> the average <laughs> income for Ready? a guy okay. in the U.S. The average income for Average that's income good, for a guy good, in the good. U.S. What do you think it is? The average income for a guy in the U.S. Like fifty. Uh, how seventy thousand? Seventy-five thousand, maybe. Has what do you think? Just take a guess. We'll get 50. close. Fifty. 50? What do you think? 70, 75,000? What do you think? Sixty grand. Sixty. What do you think? Fifty. Sixty. Fifty-six. What do 50. you think? Fifty. What do you think? Seventy. You have to. What do you think? Uh, yeah, 50, I was like, you can't 60. live on less than It is thirty-nine thousand dollars a year. Oh, oh, wait a second. Where are the good men? I don't know where the good men is. Ready? How do you live on that? Average in Australia is a year, unless you're living in your RV and renting your house out on Airbnb. It's fifty thousand Australia. Your standard of living is lower than ours. I promise. And I'm thinking in dollars as well. Yes. Listen, I can live under a tree. Yeah. Still, that's thirty-nine thousand. Ready? Let's keep going. Like, uh, like uh, you make a hundred, a thousand dollars a year. What percentile do you think that puts in you in wage earnings? Not thirty nine. Like the top fifty percent. What do you think? Uh, well, that's the average of what I. You're like you're you're you're, 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 you're like, like you're, like, you're, like, you're like in the top you're twenty. Like, you're in the top twenty three percent of wage earners if you make a hundred grand a year. Listen, you're in the top ten percent if you make one seventy. Hold up. You're in the top one percent if you make six hundred thousand dollars a year. You're in the top oh one percent if you make three point two million dollars a year. Guys, you think that these men who make a hundred k are just falling off fucking trees and they're nowhere they don't exist and if they do hey, they're, they're fat. if they do they're economy. fat that's and they're married and they're short <laughs> and that's the part that's the ultimate lesson of what we're trying to teach you i like that I this is you did why there. okay the last podcast a lot of stuff i said made made some girls mad because i kind of put myself in a situation i was like if oh, i was I remember. if i was dating the guy who was like giving me the chanel bags and i had the nannies like the lifestyle that these girls I dream of that. jetting around I would have to turn a blind eye to some of his shit, like, mm -hmm. because, and I would, will, I, I would, because if that, that's, it's just realistic, like, the, the Hugh Hefners and the Dan Bilzerians of the world are not going to, if you didn't have anything to do with getting him where he's at, you're not going to come along and be like, oh, I'm going to have enough charm and beauty that I'm going to make him be monogamous for me when he's living a lifestyle that includes yeah. other girls. Like, True. Whether and you think it's moral or immoral, it's the way the world is. And that's what I was trying to explain last time. And, and a lot of girls were like, you're trying to make it sound like that it's okay for guys to cheat. It's not okay for guys. Cheating just means you lied or betrayed her. Um, it doesn't mean that you like physically did anything. And another thing that I said too was like, if my guy goes to the bar with his buddies and like bachelor party, then I don't need like I'm not going to grill him about the details of the night. Like, what did you do? That like, and it wasn't because I'm okay with him like knocking up some stripper or like acting crazy. It's because he's a man, and 
I don't, he's a grown ass man. I don't want to like, I shouldn't tell him how to behave. For sure. Like we yeah. both don't want if he to knock up, up if he random knocks up a stripper, stripper, it's whatever. We both whatever. don't want he's STDs. Partner. So if yeah. he behaves in a way that's going to cause that result, of course, you know, there's going to, I'm not going to stick around for that shit. Yeah. But yeah. he knows that like, he's, I'm not going to tell him how to behave. He yeah. Go ha- go have fun. Tend yourself. I can you never be, be in a relationship with a man. guy. Yeah. yeah. I won't be in a relationship with a guy. I have to babysit and be like, yeah. why are you liking hot girls? Did you do this? Did, this, did you only suck on her titties? And not, like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> be, like, what the fuck? Like, and if okay. I'm. Okay. <laughs> okay. But if I'm, at the, uh, to be fair, too, if I'm at the strip club with my guy, I'm going to be. You know, pulling the hottest girls so we can have a good time with her. Like, I'd be Did she suck honest. on your titties, too? Oh, God, everybody's... I'm going to be being more ratchet than him. Like, we're doing this shit together. Your boyfriend so. gets jealous. He's like, oh, boy. Yeah, like, you can't suck on her titties. I'm not the girl that gets jealous. I love I love other women. I'm not threatened by them. But, like, yeah. We, we can both... tell. You keep staring at Stephanie. We can tell. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm actually... Mm, okay, I'm we can tell. Look at Jenna. Uh, we're like, almost done. Uh, no, well, I mean, they're okay. stable so, from so, me. So, but... so here's the thing. Um, I just so, wanted to make that clear, though. Sure. Like, I wasn't saying, you know, for young guys watching this, like, oh, it's okay for, you know, if you make enough money, you can lie to your girlfriend and cheat on her and, like, treat her. No, that's never okay. If you guys have terms in place and you said, I'm going to be this person, your actions better match what you promised. Like, mm-hmm. no matter how much money you make, don't go behind her back. If you feel like that the relationship no longer brings you, be straight up with her. Be like, I'm not happy anymore because I want this and this and this. And d- don't lie to her and cheat behind her back. That's not ever okay. So, so we, we've done the opposite. We've done it many times. We're not going to take the time to do it right now, but we do the, the male delusional calculator, and it usually comes out between 12 and 15% of women because we don't care about your height, and we don't care, income. About, and we don't care about your income. Mm-hmm. And so we, Except we, for... <laughs> just kidding. We, but well, my, my point is, I shouldn't say that uh, while he's we, gone. We he's get, to, to, we get to choose from fifteen percent of the population. You guys get to choose from point five three percent of the population. That's why the disconnect. And I happening. think it's even less because most of them are assholes. <laughs> well, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know the other thing is it doesn't account that's for. That's just the looks. It also <laughs> like so. Here's the other thing is like those it, those stats that are part of the, that's from the CDC uh, Center for Con- uh, Disease Control. Yeah, and then and the Census Bureau. These these aren't like hard stats to like come by. We don't. You also have to, you'll have women who will say, "I want him to be the same religion as I do. He has to come from a good family. He has to mm-hmm. like this other yeah. law. That, these are just the minimum, minimum criteria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you add mm-hmm. a little more variables to that, and that percentage goes lower. Lower and lower and lower and lower. So uh, we have uh, how many? Uh, we got super chats. We got a few yes. left, and then we'll yes. sing so, us out. Um, we got three from uh, Joe Hall. Um, some of them are just Boy, uh, are. statements. He says, "Camp Pendleton had me afraid or aware of snakes." Yeah. Um, his mm. other ten dollars super chat was, "You give me hope, Allison Chains, dude." <laughs> me? Oh, me? Am I Alice in Chains? Alice in Chains. <laughs> well, it certainly worked out. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, okay. <laughs> this last one is uh, that. Lady Made Sense. No way to know how elements mess with other places. Yay. Hmm? And then oh. the last one is from Glenn Lawrence. It said, Does a woman's body count determine her value? Yes. And we're just going to like, we're just touching all the bases. We you should answer that. Oh. Can I answer that though, to be yeah, fair? Go ahead. Just because I. Wait, I, but you don't date women though. You're like, yes, you're not, I like, do. You're not smashing with a penis though. It's like, yes, I you... am. It's a strap on, but yeah, the fuck that's I am. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and I believe her because I've seen it. It's been in her podcast before. She puts it right on the table. Oh, well, she, I did a podcast yesterday and there's a dick just sitting there right now. I guarantee you it's better. I can only imagine He's like, what if like a prosthetic, I, it don't count. Be I can only imagine what the more like low-key family podcast must think when they walk up. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the most big old exciting thing. Big old dong I was hanging say out. Does that that body count, yeah. Woman's body count matter. Yes. Oh, oh, to be They're fair. They're gonna call you to HR for that, you so, know. Right? <laughs> I am HR. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I I considering my history, like the guys that I date, I am not, I, I am not uh, like secretive about my body, not my body count because I don't even know it. But like, <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm not secretive about the fact that I have a history that I, that I am a slut, that I do like having sex. Like I love sex a lot. But <laughs> I just love I tell- how you're like. Open. I love it, and I don't, I don't care what anyone thinks. I like I love, don't I love give that. a. F- fuck what nobody yeah. thinks <laughs> like i genuinely don't so when i get into a relationship with a guy i'm like listen i like couples i like fucking other girls i like fucking other dudes like i'm i'm into you sound it. like I'll, a high value woman to me that's right. all i, 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 I i'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that's that's that about you. Her, 
but that's just exactly <laughs> what my point was gonna be was that right. was that <laughs> even though like like my sexual my sexualness and my body count has never kept a man from proposing to me i've been engaged six different times and married oh, yeah, once of course. You're saying in your experience it hasn't really mattered no it hasn't or, because oh. it's like as as, as well much i mean as a simple proposal anything all i'm saying is this does it matter yes Yes, it does matter. What do you mean That's they're simple? Nasty. They're three of them are millionaires. Right? In my Isn't opinion, nasty? three of them were millionaires. Three of them were millionaires. Three of them were millionaires. I don't give a shit, Stop but it. three of them were millionaires. Let me see if I can uh, tighten this up here. Yeah, millionaire here. simp. Now, no, no, for, yeah, for no instance, the entire time. When, when, when Mike and I were on the whatever podcast not too long ago, uh, the, that girl Farah, who was part of uh, Destiny's Angels, right? Um, <laughs> and you know and you know why I say In fact, I was wondering if you were going to be on there like he's feeding it's you the It's incredible how she like became a virgin when she came. Yes. Wait, what? One of the, so one of the one of the conversations that I had during that during that show was I said, hey, do you think that being on OnlyFans is going to affect your um, your ability to find a guy or to like hook up and you know connect with a guy who um, find a who, husband? Who, because she's supposed to be a virgin, but like I said, who you would lose your virginity to, right? Mm -hmm. And that was that. And then of course later on she has this experience with this guy that she goes on a date with, not but like six weeks later, maybe two months later. And she's on this very long five-hour date where she says, I'm falling. And she's relating this to destiny. I, I'm falling in love with this guy, blah, blah, blah. But he really has a problem with porn. And I don't mean like jerking off. I mean, he has a problem with women like being, being in the porn and, and industry and stuff like that. And she, of course, has a very you know, notorious uh, OnlyFans site. And so she's like, she was telling Dusty, she says, I keep hearing Rolo's voice in the back of my head. Like, yeah, this is no, going to be, this is going to be you. Like, I saw this in my magic eight ball. Here's wow. what's coming. Right. Um, and a so, you know, so, she, so she's going through this, she's going through all this. And she, at one point in the date, she says, well, I felt like I had to tell him because I wanted, I, I, was, I really like this guy, but I want everything to be on the, above board and on the, everything on the table. Right. Mm -hmm. So she tells him the pictures of her on her OnlyFans that says, this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. Um, and do you have a problem with that? Like, you know, trying to sort of preempt any, any problems that they might have. And of course the guy with the problem with pornography or the problem with OnlyFans girls goes, well, it's kind of hot, so I'll let it. I'll let it slide this See? time. So, oh. so what I would, the, the the moral of the story, the lesson of that story, is this: is that guys don't fucking care. They don't. They for all this bullshit about like it, biology a man's hard on is going to trump his convictions especially when this chick is a, a an available hot girl who's ready to go he she's agree DTF with her astrology and yeah so with. and so, so yeah well he doesn't agree with his own astrology meaning that oh i don't have, like his convictions are i but would have a problem with that i would never i have more respect for myself i would never go with a girl who has a, a an only fans oh Except for you, because you so, look you look great, yeah. kind of it, thing. So. If twenty six percent of men under the age of thirty, and this 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 hasn't been updated since twenty eighteen, have zero sexual partners in the last year, and what we looked at that other one, thirty two percent of men under the age of thirty five who have never been married have had zero sexual partners in a year. Of course, they're going to say they're gonna, they're going to propose marriage. Of course, guys, yeah. it's not the thing about you getting a guy. All of you are, are pretty. You're going to get a guy. You guys are not obese. You're going to get a guy. My boyfriend told me though that OnlyFans would be a deal breaker. He's like, if you sure. were on OnlyFans, I would not. I I would not invest in a relationship for with sure. his partner. For sure. And, and, and there's a chance I'd that... I'd still hit it, and, but I would... Yeah, and there's, like, and there's a chance... Like, oh, I would fuck and you, but a, I'm not going to make babies yeah. and like create about, a family and, and build something And there's a chance, hypothetically, I'm not talking about your man, but a similar situation where a man would say that and she'd get an OnlyFans and he would stay. Yeah. There's probably, another chance that that yeah, would happen probably, too. Well, you, yes. Men, men have killed he for vagina also, before. He also said at one time that he wouldn't... that he didn't like bikini modeling. But, I mean, but we... So this is a different situation because... We came from, both of us came out of a completely different world. And so it's kind of progressive. Like even things like I've said once I'd never pierced my ears. And then as I got, you know, out in the world and stuff, I'm like, I wanted earrings. I thought they're hot. And so it's just, you know. They are, they look and good then on you. you came on our show with gigantic hoop you earrings. Look <laughs> Real quick, there's a sexual ornamentation. Count. Look it up. Does a woman's body count matter? Yes. I say after three bodies. After three bodies, you're a whore. After God three bodies, damn, bro. I know, wow. right? I know. Wait, now, wait. I can so look, look, look past that. I can look past it. Now, look. After ten bodies, you're a semen demon. Right? Oh, 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 
me. We have, oh, we have classification. Oh, after, after 15 bodies, it's good. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. You're back to zero. <laughs> I used to joke. It's like, you, every time you fuck a girl, the, the body count goes down one. I used to make so that I joke. Have, I, have a question. I have a question for you. Go ahead. How, how do you ensure that she's telling you the truth? How do I don't you ask know? the bitch the truth. Hey, listen. I don't, I, she's not going to give it to me. I, I, all, off so the then bat. How do you know? Wait, how do you wait. know? Yes. I, I, I had a girl tell me one time, questions. new boob job, no, new boob job, back to zero. New boob job. <laughs> every time they get a new boob job, back to zero. You bring a girl yeah. home, back down. New, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> every pap smear starts at zero. Yeah. <laughs> no. like once a year, I'm at. I'm a virgin. I, I, I literally look at every woman like hourglass, though. I, I think they have the hourglass figure because... Something about them. You don't know how much sand is up there. Well, show us what. Yeah, time, just get to the one liner. Come on, get to out. the one liner. Oh, all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is the bomb look, bitch, Even as many tired, people have been inside tired. you, time's up. That's it. All so. <laughs> time's up. I know time's coming. Time's up. Yeah. Usually you're not the one that's doing it. I, want, I, I wanted them. to mm-hmm. ask you because, so you said you don't feel like your body count has impacted. Oh, me? Y- oh, you're dating, time, right? Yeah. Because you said like you've had six guys propose to you and you've been married. Yeah. Do you at all feel like that maybe the level, like the amount of partners you've had has impacted your ability to be able to commit to one person? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So oh, maybe it's not, it's sorry it's not bad in the sense from your perspective of like oh mm-hmm. because men are gonna care but from your perspective as a woman having that ability to actually bond with somebody and stay with them long term I think that's where it's really an issue and guys should and do have the right to be mindful mm-hmm. about a woman's body count specifically for that reason other reasons too yeah. But, yeah. To, to be fair I feel like like my um, me being like having se- having a lot of sexual partners doesn't. It makes me look for love different because now I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't make me look for love. It makes me look for trust and respect just because Mm -hmm. when I was having these little encounters with people, I was doing it with married men. Mm -hmm. I was doing it with couples who weren't, who, and it was sometimes it was couples and the guy was married and I'm doing this with his, with his side chick. So I'm like, he has a side chick and a, and me. So I'm like, side chick. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm like, let's do it. In my, in my perspective, I just feel like I'm actually looking for like a genuine connection where it's sex. I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't really. In a world, in a world (laughs) full of rules. I thought that was like an actual. I was trying like, so hard to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with these. Two. I like the, I, I go. I go. What you said there. I yeah. Too, he yeah. was <laughs> cheating on his side chick with another side chick. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you sound like the guy off of Cheaters. Oh my god. Yeah. I Incredible. Have All right, we gotta kill. We gotta go. All, All right, right, guys. This has been great. Oh. This has oh. actually been a really good show. <laughs> this was fun. This yeah. was a lot of fun. He We're, talked yeah. a lot. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> that was annoying. No, it was, it was really great. Uh, first off, oh, let's man. do this. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to say a couple things real quick. Uh, for those of you who are, uh, again, one more time, I put the link in the chat. I'm going to be uh, speaking. Uh, Brad Lee will be there also for Ty Lopez's event that's coming up. He's teaching everything from social media to all kinds See? of stuff. I'm Basically, going through. If you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in checking that out, go look at the link in the chat or, or message me on Instagram. On on um, Tuesday, I'm going on whatever podcast. Okay, uh, uh, Destiny's not going to be there. Oh, we, damn it, you're miss. I'm there on Sunday. Really? I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn. So I, I, I actually, me and Steven are plotting something together. But it has it uh, like. Okay. But we're also going to debate against each other on, on a, a few topics. Mm-hmm. Uh, on Wednesday is going to be the prelim for Swimsuit USA's Los Angeles preliminary. If you guys are interested in doing that, you win a free trip to Mexico for the Swimsuit USA finals. I'm interested in doing some, some of that. Okay, cool. On the th- on Thursday is going to be uh, Babes in Toyland. Uh, uh, support our troops. So we're going to be sending care packages to troops overseas. We have about 300 girls coming to that. That's going to be an Avalon Including on Thursday. Maya Allegra. There we go. Maya's going to be yeah. one. She's going to be at one that. And uh, you're going to you want to come Gemma. too, Gemma, Gemma right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, on the on that's on Thursday. On Friday the 28th, we are going. To, so there will be no Access Vegas next Thursday. Yeah. On Friday the 28th, we're going to have the second round of the biggest bikini competition in the world. It is the uh, Girls of Summer bikini competition for sixty thousand dollars at Wet Republic. <laughs> if you guys are interested in that, you're already a top ten finalist. She already won top 10, so she can't come She's back in. next week. So you guys want to come back and check that out. Our finals is going to be September 8th, if you guys are interested in that. And then on August 3rd, as of right now, tentatively, it's oh going to be boy. myself, Brandon Carter, and Nick Fuentes on a Valuetainment. And then probably, we probably hopefully, I'll do something with my And if you're wondering why that. I'm not participating in all that, it's because... I was going to ask you why you're not doing the his, bikini his, competition. Uh, well, his, his because daughter's getting my married. daughter is getting married on August 3rd. Congratulations. So, uh, 
so I will not be able to attend. Michael, Although I'm, I really, I'm helping, I'm prepping him. I'm helping yeah. him for, for. I'm helping not gonna be able to do the the bikini one in August either because my sister's wedding is on those dates. So you can't so. do the 28th. I'm also like, I, I just is it arranged? Like that, I'm kind of fluffy right now. I, She's out like of the cult. If you haven't figured so, it out. I know, so, no, but so you need to meet, meet, meet my friend Al, Al Buterol, and my other friend. Uh, <laughs> That's fucked up. My, my friend Clem, Clem, Clem Buterol. My, my friend uh, <laughs> O, Ozempic, Ozempic, and Ozempic. Al Buterol. And then all of a sudden, I've been slacking a little. You're skinny, I just, just like that. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like if I don't have the edge to like compete, I'm like I'm gonna let other girls who worked harder for it. I don't know. I just love it. I just have a great time. I, it's, it's it is incredible. fun. It is it, fun. It, it I is might come anyways just for the fun of it. It's the most fun. But you, is got, not invited because there'd be too many exposed breasts. There's gonna be a lot. Yeah. Too many titties. Uh, one, one of the things. All of, all of, all of you ladies. Titties. All of you. If they'll ladies. actually expose them, I'll show. All of you <laughs> ladies are invited. Also, one other thing. If you guys are interested, <laughs> Slam Ball's uh, Grant season opener is tomorrow. Slam Ball. That's like it's four on four basketball, but they wear football pads and they run over each other and they don't. Trampoline, they dunk on each other. It's that's the best, greatest part of sport of all that? time. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be at UNLV. That's where we're having it. it any ladies want to join me? I, I can take like twenty girls with me. Mm-hmm. The the owner of Slam Ball has invited me. So if any of you except ladies Rose come, can't go because trampolines lead to wanton that's random right. that's casual right. sex. <laughs> they lead to random <laughs> casual sex. Is that so? It's yeah. never been my experience right. with them. But anyway, if I'm you willing la- to find if out. If any of you ladies <laughs> want to come to Slam Ball with me tomorrow, we're gonna go back six thirty. All right, awesome. Go ahead and shout out all your things and let us know about your things. Away. Oh, I am at Lana Cherry's Comedy on Ooh. all platforms, and my podcast is called Laughing with Lana. You can find me on YouTube, Rumble, and Spotify. Awesome. Jabrizi. Jabrizi. Where uh, do you live? <laughs> <laughs> live in Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me at Jabrizi on Instagram and the Jabrizi Podcast. Other than that, I just I don't want to pretty move out because I need that studio. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want is Jabrizi on her podcast. That's really what yeah, I want. You know, I was, that I'd would be, be more good. than happy to I have was gonna say yeah. you guys oh my, should oh do God. one because that one I would watch that. Mm-hmm. I would watch that. that. Would be and and, and you, it'd be sitting next to each other and handcuffed. That's what. Yeah. I oh, <laughs> Steph, what's going? What's and going on? Steph, wear what you usually wear on your show too. Ooh. Steph, um, you can find me on Instagram. It's Steffi XO with two P's because one P got deleted. So it's Steffi XO with two P's. Mm-hmm. There you go. You can find me on Insta at Gem Antonius or TikTok Gem from Gemma. <laughs> I'm more funnier there. <laughs> more yeah. funnier. All of their IGs are going to be uh, in my description. Go ahead. And you can find me on Instagram if you type in my full Instagram name because I think I'm shadow banned uh, from my yes, Miami yeah. Swim Week pictures. Uh, yeah, come to my world. <laughs> I went to Miami Swim Week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, it's Maya Allegra 02. And you can find her on the Robert Kiyosaki video that we just published last yes. week. Yes. Maya with an I or a Y? Hey, just curious. Oh, hey, what do you remember about 9 11? I wasn't alive. <laughs> That's it. That's all right. I just wanted to do that. I just wanted to do that. Sorry. Go ahead. Wait, what? I she just felt to... like I aged like 20 <laughs> when, she said, when she said 02, I was like, you guys know what that is, right? Okay. Oh, my God. Cool. Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's the Rosie, T-H-E-E-R-O-Z-E-E. And... Why are you giggling? Up? No, it's just that I, oh, I, I, my I own like, joke was pretty funny. And then TikTok, yeah, it has... It's the Rosie, but it has three E's because my first one got banned. Um... Not not because of bikini pictures, because I posted I did a, like a Veterans Day um, tribute video, and I was standing on a tank, like an army tank, and they told me that's why they banned they banned my account permanently over that. So that was weird. Shout out to the Chinese. Well, I'm a war. Well, <laughs> hey, China, hey China, if you don't like it, make better tanks. Yeah. Maybe that that would help. Got it. That sound came in perfect for me. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought it was mine. I was like shocked. I was like, no, I'm the paid I'm too whore. young for this. I'm the paid kidding. whore. So, <laughs> say it in porn voice. Come on, <laughs> ASMR. Say it in porn voice. So you can find me at mm. TiffanyIsWild.com. <laughs> Ooh, I'll be and going there later. <laughs> and all socials that I've been banned on before is one bad fox underscore. <laughs> I am shadow banned, so you got to spell it out. Bee. You can oh, fap. You okay. can fap to her. I still need to get her. Fap to her. Oh that material. You know that what, to me. You know what we need to do? We have to have her on and we have to have Domo on. We got to get Sterling Cooper and we got to get Sarah Jesse and whoever else we know that's in the business and have just like industry night here for us. Yes, like, let's do it. Porn industry night. I'm so down. I want to meet Sterling Cooper. He's so in- 
Yeah, yeah. you want to meet Sterling yeah. Cooper? Yeah, you guys should try to get if Johnny. You, if there's a like another a guy with a fake that, Austri- that Austrian Australian accent, hundred percent we can make that. A hundred percent we can make that. I'm just kind of curious how far you want to meet Curling Sterling Cooper. <laughs> you guys should get Johnny. I don't know, sense. but I'm curious, so I want to meet him. Okay, <laughs> Amy, your last go. Yeah, uh, YouTube, ideally, Amy Dangerfield, and uh, I'm on Instagram as Automate with Amy. Beautiful, mm-hmm. awesome. Well, check awesome. out check out your show. How do you do? Do you do it over Zoom or like uh, restream? I My, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a camera. I brought it here with me. I'm kind of vlogging. It's, mm. Yeah. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. Okay. I, I set up a streaming like setup, but my first attempt was with the Iron Disciples. I know mm. you've done work with them, mm. and my camera cut out like halfway through, so it was just audio. Uh, <laughs> much. Uh, so I'm getting the hang of the streaming thing slowly but surely. Uh, not, yeah. What's about, what's wrong with that Rolo guy? Did he take off his beanie yet? <laughs> they really tell, well, tell, tell, so tell, tell me he made his guts. What the are day you I'm, you? I'm just curious. I've what been curious you? about this <laughs> shit since the day I fucking Because he gets he gets cold in it. I was just about to say. Oh my god, it has to. There has to be like a like. Like a, like an unboxing one day. No, like you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny. People always go, "How come he doesn't show us that?" I'm like, "You can go to my Instagram. I have plenty of shots." You do. Oh. You do. All right, guys. So we got to get out of here. Remember, guys, if you're a dude, just have sex with as many women as you want. If you're a woman, don't have sex with anyone oh, wait, at all. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, remember, guys, if you're ugly, please, please, please use a condom. And Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. Take care, guys. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>